and a Diggity Dog, P. Diggity Dog, and Ryu, and Duncan, and Immune, and Rewa. And thank you, Dying, for that $5 donation. In the spirit of the recent meme on Meta Sigma's playthrough, I nominate the hero's name to be Manzus. So we do got a name for the hero. We got a hero name before we start off. Good morning, Braxis. And hello, everyone. Welcome to Dragon Conquest 2020. Night to do. Thank you for 10 months of support. Wee! Good morning to you two. Okay. I probably, by the way, did my screens backwards on my stream, but oh well. I'll fix it tomorrow. <sighs> it's too much of a hassle for me to fix it today. This game is infamous for one reason. Well, two. One, the waifus. <laughs> Can't forget the waifus. And two, because it's like the most depressing game in the series by far. By far. Hey, T Digger. Yeah, they kind of made a movie off of it too, but you know. Hey, Methos. <clears throat> so yes, this is Dragon Conquest. Where I will be playing through most of the Dragon Quest series over the next couple of months. And I give you all the ability to affect how I play the game. Ray is piling on the King Slime hats. I should put a timer on the layout, by the way. <laughs> that would be pretty cool for me to have a timer on the layout that says hat time remaining. I just thought of that. Well, we're wearing the... Uh... We're wearing the King Slime hat for two hours. Maybe tomorrow I'll add that to the layout. I'll add a uh, slime hat remaining. Hi, Ray. Hi, Hot Pocket. <laughs> or you could pick the wife that I like the most. That's always a good option, too. You know, it's almost like Eleven took the music from every other Dragon Quest game. <laughs> almost. But yeah, this is the Dragon Quest fanfare. Lotus, thank you for six months of support. Wee! Do I, do I have to answer that, Zorn? <laughs> Speed run wise, I prefer Dragon Warrior Seven. Maybe even casually. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, we are going to get started here on some Dargan Fest 5. Let me drop this over here. Do, 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 do. Get rid of my DQRTA one. The difference between it, uh, one's 3DS and one is PlayStation. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, so we do got a donation for our hero's name. He will be, not Mao, Manzis. It's not completely unstable. I just got to make sure I reset every once in a while. <laughs> That's all. Cool. Yeah, it has a memory leak. Thank you, Colin. So, Dragon Quest V starts off with us in the castle with Dad on the day that we're born. King Pankraz, the amazing dad. And there's baby me and mom. Don't we look like the most beautiful family you've ever seen? I feel like that we will grow old together and everything will be happy and they'll never, cause I'm named Manzis. And nothing sad will ever happen. And everything will be right in the world. World peace. Compliments of Manzis. And our happy family. Our family is so happy that we don't need one of them. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Moving on six years later. <laughs> <laughs> Six years later. See, we've already grown up. Moving on. Hey, BDD. Hey, B Fox. Look at there's Dad. Look how happy Dad is to have such a grown up, beautiful baby boy. Sailing on the ship. Traveling with me, Papa. There's a bunch of story triggers that you gotta hit in order to uh, to progress the story here. I don't think I'm gonna read necessarily read all the text out, but I am not gonna mash to give people a chance to read the text. TNT. T oh yeah, we are doing the TNT boards, by the way. <laughs> We are doing the TNT boards. Even the horrible, horrible late game ones. Uh, we will be definitely trying to beat Esther. Which one was it? In? There it is. I don't think there was another TNT ticket right now. Breaking pots. That's one of the qualifications, right? I am going to try to do the Stark driving me crazy board. Our goal is to try to do all the TNT boards. I forgot, was there another one here? No, just another herb. Extra safety herb. I gotta make sure I save a TNT ticket. Well, actually, technically I don't need to save one at the beginning because by the time I uh, get to um, the point where I can use a TNT board, the uh, 
we get a free ticket anyways. Say hello to two of the potential waifus, by the way. In miniature form. They do grow up a little bit by the time we marry them. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta do something different there. Okay. And I just realized I have to do something later. <laughs> First, we got... Well, the crazy, crazy one that we don't talk about. <clears throat> and then we have the beautiful, delicate flower that is Nera. Ah. See, even Dad loves her. She's polite. She's kind. She's caring. She's blue hair. <laughs> Hi, Granja. <laughs> you know what would be a terrible, terrible uh, speedrun category in this game, by the way? Oops. Capture all monsters. She's six or so, okay? Hi, Varshio. Hi, Vanya. She doesn't even lose sleep over you. That, yeah. Gotta catch them all. The only reason that would be uh, terrible is because the two medals. Hey, Kush. He is six years old right now. Trying to capture the, the metal slime and the liquid metal slime, ugh. That's why that speed run would be terrible. That that could be a 48 hour speed run just trying to capture those two. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot. <laughs> I got two hours of a slime hat I gotta wear. Let's go. I got two hours of the king. Oh, that's wor- Well, three liquids is the same probability as three regular metal slimes. Which is what? I think a one in 2,000 chance? To capture the third of each? Or is it 1 in 4,096? It's 1 in 256. I don't remember. I think the second one is, is 1,000 and then the third one is 2,000. It could be 1 in 4,000 though. You cannot recruit a Metal King Slime in this game. Do battle message speed fast. Uh, what was it that I do? Oh yeah, get rid of the stupid map out of my bag. Well, the first one is two, uh, one in 256. And then it multiplies from there. So dad decides to go talk and tells me not to go run off and play. And I'm really bad at listening, so I go off and play with slimes. Dad comes and beats up all the slimes for me. Because Dad's a badass. I wish I could be like Dad. He's the real Manzis. I'm just a boy in a slime hat. So this encounter is actually kind of dangerous, so we're going to defend until Daddy gets rid of at least two of them. Thanks, Dad. You'll always be my dad. Until the day he di I die. I'm also going to do something in this casual playthrough that I haven't done in probably four years. Which means I probably don't remember all the story triggers for it, but we're still going to do it. Hehehe. <laughs> 
You're still alive, Pancras. You haven't died yet. Not yet. Hi, King Edgar Figaro. Exactly. I hope he cries because of how terrible and sad this game is. He keeps playing new games, so he's never going to finish four. Although I think he's running out of new games to play. Mega Jeff, thank you for 32 months of support. Whee! Maybe he's just slow and bad at playing games. Did you ever think about that? Grandra, thank you for 25 months of support. And we did get a $20 donation from Duncan Thrax that says, Recruit a Restless Armor. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on a second. Recruit Restless Armor. There we go. We got ourselves a uh, Restless Armor that we have to... to, to uh, to get at some point. I don't actually remember what the capture rate is on a restless armor. I used to know the capture rates on everything, but I am curious, what is the capture rate on a restless armor? Do, 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 uh... Where are you? I feel like... Where are you? Probably better if I do it this way. Restless armor is one in 64. <laughs> We're going to need some work on that one, y'all. <laughs> uh, hey, Zenith. Hey, Outcast. So one in 64 is, is what we're looking for when we go look to recruit him. We gotta be at least level 10 for him. That was the important thing to know. Because we could start recruiting him as early as Above It All Tower. But I don't know if that's when I'll try to recruit him. If I come across him, obviously I'm gonna try. Hey, Ghoulicious. And for the third waifu, by the way. Boring old Bianca. <laughs> I love how she's like, I'm going to read you a story. And then she's like, I can't read anything. <laughs> Good job reading me a story, Bianca. Good job, Bianca. Always blame Bianca for everything. Okay, so we get to play Little Miss Adventurer, or Little Mr. Adventurer. When we get to dive into a cave to try to save Bianca's father, or... Well, so Bianca's father is sick, I should say. 
And they came here to look for medicine, and uh, there's a guy in here who, uh, I didn't equip, by the way. Might help if I equip that, because I was taking a lot of damage. Who uh, came in here to look for medicine, and he hasn't come out yet. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to come in here and rescue him, because we're a kid. A six-year-old kid who's rescuing a poor adult. I've seen the Dragon Quest movie, yes. So we're being careful about what we fight, if possible. Like, we don't want to fight three Drakis, so we would like to run, if possible. <laughs> I did pick up the extra herbs, so if I have to burn them... Ew. Hammerhood either basically misses you or does 10 damage to you. Uh, we can take this one. We need to build up some monies is what we need. Normally we need 106. But, uh, I might go for a little bit more so I can save some TNT tickets. So those who know anything about Dragon Quest know that this game is filled with puns. Like most of the other Dragon Quest games. This guy we found trapped under a rock. Just minding his own business. And, uh, oh yeah, his name is Mr. Rockefeller. Uh, oh, I got to forgot to equip my stupid armor. Don't forget to equip better armor. Although I probably should heal here. Hey, B-Dragon, I don't know. The whole above it all thing is pretty good. Hey, Mario. Thank you. Wow, this ate all my health. Doing this at level 2 stinks, because I definitely can't one-shot these boring bugs. Oh, Dr. Aegon is great. I love Dr. Aegon. Hey, we got an extra herb out of it, though. Uh, no bunny corns. So I might go to 116 gold, just so I could save the two TNT tickets. We're actually doing really good on gold. Uh, we're at 110 already, dang. Or wait, 116 is what we normally need, isn't it? So I need to go to like 126. I was thinking of undershooting myself. Not again is pretty good pun. I'd like to go to 126, but I don't want to burn another herb, so. I think we're at 115. The best part about that meme is the fact that I covered up the link so no one could see where it actually links to. Uh, where are we at? 
123. Can we get three more without dying? Well, that's a good start. Because this will give me four. And we got even a bonus herb. Yay, Mr. Rocky Feller. And I can save two TNT tickets now. And that's what matters the most, is saving the TNT tickets. Because then I don't have to go farming everywhere for, uh, for tickets. Good news, though, is we could just sc save scum if we can't beat the boards. Ah, <laughs> right, Hoffman. Time to go on an adventure. -er. See, I told you all, you'd reach that that total for the uh, for the first bit total easily. Second bit total, I'm gonna have to make a bit more challenging though. A bit more challenging, yes. No, the channel uh, points, they're not even bits. What am I talking about? Donut, you get me confused. <laughs> See, now there was a pun. So we make it back to the uh, second town, and Bianca's daddy has medicine. Hey, True Cooler. Hey, Melon. I wouldn't really call this a speed run. And we get told to go play for a walk, so go for a walk. So we're going to go for a walk to the poor kitty cat over here who's getting beat up and picked on. And we're going to make a deal with these guys. We're going to be like, give us the cat. And they're like, only if you beat up a ghost. And we'll be like, okay. <laughs> because that's what six and eight-year-old kids do, right? We beat up ghosts and save cats. Uh, for Joker 3, you use channel points, which are the forbidden bon donuts on the bottom of your, uh, of your, uh, chat box. In order to add to the Joker 3 incentive. Hi, right, Beagle. No, none of these are speedruns. They're casual. <laughs> it's adding Joker 3 to the, uh, to the, uh, Conquest. And I do have another mystery game that'll get added once that one gets met. I've never finished Joker 3 because apparently there was a bug in the translation patch. But I know what the bug is, I'm pretty sure. So I can try to avoid the bug next time. But the, uh, the second mystery game is a game that I've never played before. Hey, I'm, I saw another streamer using it, so I figured it's about time to make use of it.
But I'm not going to say what the other uh, bonus game is until the Joker 3 incentive gets met. In fact, I can almost guarantee that most of you in chat have never seen the game before. In fact, probably a lot of people in chat don't even know the game exists. It is a Japanese only game, yes. Which means playing it will be fun. Anyone remember everything I'm supposed to sell? I told you I'm not going to give any hints or anything about what it is. You'll have to find out afterwards. You can only speculate. Yeah, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 3 is the current uh, bit goal. That is another Japanese-only game, but it has an English translation patch. Yeah, there is a Joker 3. Okay, what am I forgetting to sell? Uh, what am I forgetting to sell? This is going to take two months to do. I'm going to average about eight hours a day. My soul. I forgot what else we're supposed to actually sell here. Assuming I didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed anything. Uh... Hat. There we go. I think the hat was it. Because, yeah, I came up with one extra gold. That's exactly what I wanted to sell was the hat. So there is some good slash bad news is... Is, uh... Well, I gotta make sure I can survive the boss, b Fox. Is drag... Or, uh... RPG Limit Break got cancelled, so... Um, I don't have to be in a hurry to try to finish this by the end of September. If it takes a little longer, oh well, we can push it. Because I don't have to start practicing Dragon Quest XI for it. Hey, Barts. So yeah, there will be no RPG Limit Break this year. They said they might try to do some kind of online charity, but it'll be, it'll be different. Ew, Bianca keeps getting hit, which I don't like this, by the way. Because she needs the experience. Stop hitting her. Yeah, all major events are either going online or canceled. The problem with Limit Break is there's a bunch of co-op runs. So they can't... Well, Limit Break's already passed, Mara. <laughs> so it would have been a different thing anyways. Okay, don't kill Bianca. Stop attacking Bianca. Thank you. There's her level 3, I think. Yep, yeah, okay, we just wanted level 3. We just want... She did it with one health left. Woo! Yeah. But like I said, they, they've talked about potentially doing a different charity, online-only charity event during the middle of October. They never, uh, you know, that that's the only hint that they've given so far. It wouldn't be RPG Limit Break, but it would be something else. So we'll just wait to see if they do that. If that's the case, it'll be new submissions... Wait, what am I doing turning the camera? Not for this one. It'll be like new submissions and whatever. But they've already said that any run that was accepted this year will be automatically accepted next year. Oh yeah, so this is a haunted mansion. It starts off with Bianca getting kidnapped by skeletons and stuffed in a tombstone. 
Not bad for tra eight trauma for a six and eight year old, huh? So I will be running Dragon Quest XI next year at RPG Limit Break. Well, yeah, but the, the, the casual grind is actually pretty slow at this point. Because level five, after level 5, levels take forever to happen in this area. So even if you grind casually... Like, I will be doing a lot of casual. I won't be speedrunning everything, but... Like, once you hit level 5, it takes forever to hit 6. Uh, whenever it comes out, Duncan. Hello, uh, lead-based lifeform. Ooh, crows. Spoopy. Heh. <laughs> I don't know, Final Fantasy's coming out with games even slower. Remember, it took him 10 years to get through 15. Dark. And I don't think they're gonna release 16 until they're done with uh, FF7R. Which that alone could take, you know, 5 to 10 years to develop. Coming 30-30-30. Final Fantasy. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know. They still haven't mentioned anything about the damn game yet. I don't know. How excited are you for uh, Mia and Eric? And their wacky adventures. So we meet the Count of this tower. Uh, by the way, the name of this uh, this manor, this towers, is up to ten, and this guy is the Count up to ten. And he tells us about the big baddie at the top, and uh, that we need to get a torch in order to see in the dark room. Up to ten. Yeah, you could you could say it a couple of different ways, but when you say count up to ten, you kind of you kind of get the joke. <laughs> All kinds of spoopy monsters hanging around here. Got this flame that lets us use the inn. Hello, wrestling mania. It's a cheap inn. It's free. And it kicks us outside. Vicious, and we saved two TNT tickets. Hey, Molsky. Count, uh, that's why he's the Count and you're not. Hi, new name. New name, no name. That was your first mistake.
Hey, chest things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops. So, use our... Wait. Oh my goodness. Darr, I forgot something, y'all. <laughs> the whole reason why I went this direction. <laughs> We never got the torch. We also need to grind a little experience. Hopefully we're not gonna see three candles. Cause three candles is scary. But we need to hit level four. Which is like two fights usually. Melon, thank you for 40 months of support. Whee! Oh, I got another herb. What the hell? Hey, Jester Huss. What is up with all these freaking herb drops today? Okay, so we got the two levels that we needed there. Well, the level, I should say. Now we can go up to the Haunted Housekeeper. Hi, Eisendir. Twitch is trying to, trying to take me down. The man is trying to take me down, y'all. It remembered the right thing this time. I got so many freaking herbs. That I didn't have room for the torch in Chimera. Yeah, I heard the East Coast is dealing with a little bit of a, a storm. Send some of that rain this way, in clouds. Whee! Small storm. It's a light drizzle. I can't make a meal out of two children! Yeah, I know. I used to live in Florida. It was always, uh... Everyone panics about the hurricane, and we're on the porch watching it. <laughs> Category 1? Nah, that's alright. We can chill on the porch and enjoy the breeze. Hey, Pope. Okay, so this fight can be scary if they focus fire. Owl and Frizz hurts. So hit some Bianca some please. Bianca please. Bianca please? <laughs> that sucks. Uh, well. Not much I could do there. Literally every attack except for one hit him. So yeah, if you die, you end up catching a cold, or your dad catches a cold. Uh, I forgot, what do we do to go back to bed? I guess we just talk to you. 
I haven't died there in a while, so I forgot who I had to talk to. All my money is gone. Yeah, I haven't died to those uh, candles in a while. <laughs> but that's what can happen. Two of them frizzed and uh, they focus fired completely. Hey, Shin. Well, oops. Come on. Please don't double. There we go. I lost 72. Farting ferrets. Hey, Specky. Do do do. Uh, it's it has a weird story. That's for sure. Hey, Great Red Dragon. Well, you're gonna get a couple months of nothing but Dragon Quest games here. I need to heal up anyways. But I might as well just grab a level. Yeah, I found out something very weird early on about the Switch version of Dragon Quest 1. If you look at the sprites, the Dragon Quest 1 sprite on Switch, it's actually Mario. <laughs> like, look at it. It has a big, bulbous nose and uh, looks exactly like Mario. Just the Dragon Quest 1 sprite I've seen. Yeah, thankfully it removed the crossbow game. Thankfully it removed it. Well, you, I've done plenty of casual games, please. Well, it's because you're never here, that's why. Well, someone donated for me to name the my, my hero Manzis because of Meta. Okay, we get to try the the tor the the candles again. We're a level higher this time. Meta is an old friend of mine. Old old friend of mine. Yeah, the crossbow mini game was kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I was much better glad happier that they put the other additions into it. It seemed really pointless. And I'm trying to get the trophy for it was even worse. You know what? I'm just gonna gain another level. Make this free. It also added out of bounds. <laughs> The speed run for the PC version is fun because of the out of bounds. 
Oh, jeez. Time time to start recruiting everything. Thank you, Arewa Magi, Magi, for the $20 donation to recruit a Barbados. Oh, no, we're getting focus fired again. Okay, hold on a second. What are you doing with a Barbados now to kill me? How horrible is a Barbados frickin' recruit? I can't imagine that's the highest thing. Or the lowest thing. Where are you, Barbados? <laughs> Barbados is a 1 in 256. Yeah, you had to choose a 1 in 256, didn't you? I was kind of hoping to not have to recruit a 1 in 256. Because that could take me a week. But... Thank you, Silver Moon, for the host. I will give it my best shot, but I'm not going to promise. <laughs> if it starts taking multiple days to recruit a Barbados, we'll see where we're going. Deal? Because 1 in 256 is insanely fickle. And they're not the lowest level enemies, so they're not easy to kill. But thank you for the donation. Oh, I'm fine with it. I like this. The Switch speedrun I enjoy because there's no cutscenes. So the Switch speedrun is really fast. It's just there's no breaks either, so your bladder dies during the run. Oh, I didn't gain an extra level. Oops, I wanted to gain an extra level. My bad. I guess we're just gonna do it at this level. I should be fine at this level because I have extra herbs. But I was just gonna gain another level and make it even easier. Okay, Dazzle. And then frizz while you heal. You, please. Dang, you hit me twice through Dazzle. That stinks. That was um, that was bad luck. Three times through Dazzle so far. <laughs> Dang, the Dazzle's just doing nothing. Here we go. Starting to miss it now. Going after uh, Manzis. 
should be about dead. Yeah, that's why I stopped healing, because I knew uh, he was about to die, and Bianca doesn't need experience. Although it's not terrible if she gets it, you know? We beat up the ghost. We only had to sacrifice Bianca. How nice. <laughs> it's a man's this baby. I wish dying, but we're never not that lucky. Because unfortunately, she resurrects and wakes up right away. I know. It's a shame. But she does. She, she's alive. She's talking to us. I don't know why she's talking to us, but she is. <laughs> uh, let's see. We did... This game is very generous about giving a lot of free resurrections at certain points in the game. So I never got a donation for a Saber Cat name. Anyone got a good name for Saber Cat? Pajamas, Bomberin. Oh yeah, you gotta choose one of those names that you saw. Leo, Spot, Mohicat, Tom, Percy, Moggy, Punk, Pajamas, Bomberin. Yeah, if you play Dragon Quest VIII, that's where the bomb run joke comes from. I don't know, I see a couple of bomb runs. Well, eight was the original joke, because this game didn't come out before... This game was out long before Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> I'm seeing lots of bomb runs. I think we're going to name our uh, bomb runs. Yeah, Pyjamas is a platypunk name. Yeah, but Bowie plays Camelot games, so what does he know? Hi, Ark. I mean, <clears throat> hi, Bowie. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Totally did not just say something about you. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'm fine with telling everyone what I said about him because he chose Deborah. You are inherently wrong, sir. <laughs> uh, let's see, buy four Chimera Wings for the bag, buy, I guess, seven Medical Herbs for you. Ark is trying to stir the pot. What a jerk. Wow, Ark. Trying to get me in trouble with Bowie. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Not if I delay it long enough. La, 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 la. <laughs> uh. So we got a new party member. It's our saber cat. Our bomberin. Well, welcome everyone from Bowie's stream. <laughs> I am playing through the Dragon Quest games. Kind of in the same sense that Bowie just played through the Camelot games, except slightly different in uh, in how I, how I uh, set my C, uh, thing up. And it's the first time I've done this in four years, so it's a good refresh on all the Dragon... It's almost all the Dragon Quest games. Ooh, double. Come on. Good hits. Good hits. Ah. You can actually take them all out before Saber even uh, joins, before Bomber even joins. In a speed run, that saves like one second. <sighs> I would play even more of them if I spoke Japanese, but unfortunately I don't speak Japanese, so I can't play some of the games. I always like to think that my conquest was a little unique because I don't take like donation incentives to uh, to give bonus content. I do all of the content and let you all decide what other garbage you want to see, like recruiting two monsters this run that I would never consider recruiting. Yeah, fighters, I can see how that worked out. I do have a couple of bit bid wars that you can choose the console that I play Dragon Quest 7 or 8 on. I have channel point incentive to add uh, bonus games to the list. Hey Chagos, thank you. So after beating up a bunch of ghosts, our six year old boy is going to the bar to pick up a hottie. Uh, yeah, I asked no medals, please. I'm already accepting Barbados. But medals is even more ridiculous. Recruiting a medal is, like, the worst thing ever. Because you have to get them to stick around, and you have to get a 1 in 256. And you have to kill them last, also. That's the trickier part, is you also have to kill them last in order to have a chance to recruit the enemy. Uh, not, well, Mario has a metal slime manipulation, but that's his DS. So this is Honey. She is the worst and best character in the game at the same time. Uh, depending on what she does in a uh, certain boss fight. <laughs> yeah, with holy water or whatever, fairy water or whatever, there's, there's some kind of glitch. Holy water glitch or whatever. So this is the Fairyland. They have a problem. Uh, it is oh, it is winter here now, and they want it to be spring. But their Herald of Spring was stolen by Dwight the White Dwarf. Yes, that's true. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna help them get it back. But he has locked himself in the Winter Palace. So in order to do that, we need to find a book to learn how to pick locks. Which is funny because we're six years old and we already know that we don't know how to read. Except for we're going to read a book to teach us how to pick locks. Okay, transfer that to bag. We want to give this to Saber. Thank you. 
And we're lazy, so we're gonna teleport out. Yeah, it might be a picture book. Insert pick here. Unlock door there. <laughs> so one thing about the uh, monster recruiting in this game, and Bowman counts as a monster, is any, or monsters don't generally listen to you until they have 20 wisdom. These guys are great because most of the things they do, they, they can't even cast. Yes, this is the game that the, the the Netflix movie is based off of. So, Bomberin won't actually do what I say all the time. Right now. Because he doesn't have 20 of wisdom. Wow, can I run from some of these encounters? I'm about to die. Well, we're off to a good start, y'all. Two deaths already. Uh. I don't know, fighters. I'm not even sure if the pips can be recruited in this game. Oh, they can? Okay. I mean, I'm sure someone has tried it. <laughs> Wolf Slash, thank you for 18 months of support. Whee! Bad Apple. Oh, the Foo Fighters, maybe. Well, I was trying to run away, so Honey wasn't necessarily healing. Ah, uh, I got dazzled. I shouldn't stay, but... Uh, the movie spoiled a good chunk of the game for you. Now, there was a bunch of things that were changed in the movie compared to the game. Like, in the game, you actually have a choice for a, a wife. And uh, a chunk of the story was definitely changed. I'm not going to go into all of it unless you actually walk, play the game. Because there was definitely uh, changes to the movie compared to the game. <laughs> Definitely, some of it, slightly big plot points. Plus, the ending is nothing like uh, the video game ending. <laughs> Thankfully. Oops, I never got the agility seed. I'll get it on the way back out. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything else. I didn't plan on it. There, we pick up a book called Lots About Locks. And we suddenly learn how to pick locks. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, I really liked the movie, but the ending was something. <laughs> hey, Bio Billy. You still haven't seen the uh, Dragon Quest movie yet, Melon? I mean, the movie looks really good. It has a lot of great humor. They captured most of the Dragon Quest V story correctly. It's just, yeah, everyone will warn you the ending. <laughs> the ending is weird. Hey, I got another herb. <laughs> okay, you... But it is overall a really fun movie, yeah. 
Like, Sancho is amazing. Okay, let's get an upgraded weapon. Nara shows why she's the best girl. Hey, Grister. <laughs> okay, so now that we can pick locks, now we need to go break into the Winter Palace. And you can see Dwight the White Dwarf in the small screen. But this dungeon is ice physics puzzles. Only three of them though. So there's actually two bosses here. There's Dwight and then the boss behind Dwight. The boss behind Dwight is where we have issues. Nice, sleep lock. As long as Manzus doesn't die, we're fine. Anyone else can die. If Manzus dies, we go back to, uh, to the real world. So Dwight isn't too much of an issue. The issue is the Winter Queen, the second fight, because we need Honey to sap the Winter Queen at least once. Twice would be preferred, but at least once. And uh, if she doesn't, well, that fight becomes very sketchy. He likes to drain my magic. But I get a magic potion drop from this fight. Okay, there's a Kasap on Dwight. So the reason why we want a Kasap is one, she has a ton of health. And two, she, um, she has heal. And if we don't do enough damage to her, well... Yeah. Well, she's, we're just not going to deal any damage to her, that's all. <laughs> I have beaten her before. But, uh, it's not easy. And she can do a ton of damage, and she can one-shot Honey if she wants to. So anytime she holds her breath and attacks, you pray that she doesn't attack Honey. <laughs> Basically. Oh, first turn, Kasap. Nice. Oh, the double Kasap! See, this is why I mean Honey is either the best or the worst... Uh, party member. No, you have to beat her. This is story required. Like I said, this is why Honey is either the worst or the best character. Because sometimes... Ooh, this is scary. She comes through. We want to see Cold Breath, yeah. We want to see Cold Breath when she holds her breath. Because that heal will do about as much damage as I do attacking with three party members without, um, without Kassab. Well, you don't need to Kassab anymore. She's good. She has 650 health, by the way. That's how much health she has.
takes forever to get through this boss. Threw out a dazzle. Nice. I'm hoping Honey heals here. Ooh, Honey didn't heal though. Okay, Honey, I kind of need you to heal. Oh, she didn't heal again. Dang it, Honey. Thank you. Best waifu is obviously Nara. There we go. This first couple of done bosses, the Haunted Housekeeper and uh, the Winter Queen are definitely two of the hardest bosses in the speedrun. Just because you don't have a lot of levels and they can do such stupid things and a ton of damage. Hey, Bubbly. I see they're bringing rivals to the uh, PC. I really wish they would English translation that. Like, come on, they're bringing it to Steam, damn it. Give us an English patch. Hey, Reg. Hey, Triple Zero. It is a card game, much like Hearthstone. It used to be mobile only in Japan, but they're putting it on PC, like, this month. But it's only gonna- PC and, like, Steam and all that, but it's only in Japanese. Uh, no. Yeah, it's a Dragon Quest cards game, much like Hearthstone. It's kind of hard to Google Translate uh, something I can't copy and paste. It's alright, Melon will come over to my house and teach me how to play the game. Well, if there's a site... I'll tell you, if there's a site that uh, that has cards translated, I will look into that. Once again, visit people again, yeah. I can't trust you people down to the south. You're supposed to be in quarantine. All you southerners. <laughs> Yeah, Pope is like, please, I don't even leave the house. Yeah, same. I lived in Florida, but I don't anymore. I live, I have the honor of living in the county where the uh, pandemic started in the U.S. Hey, Joker. We got a branch. So this game has something called knickknacks. Um, they're useless collectible items that you can put on display in a town later on. <laughs> it's 
Spoilers, I already skipped one. Uh, the mystery games are given by channel points, Hot Pocket. The, uh, the forbidden donuts at the bottom of your chat channel. So now... No, uh, Seattle area, Hot Pocket. North of Seattle, actually, but it was all King County. That's where the first confirmed case of, uh, of it was in the U.S. I don't live in Seattle, but I live in the county. <laughs> so Dad got a missive from the king to come babysit his jerk of a son. And we're getting dragged along because Daddy thinks his, uh, his son is a troublemaker and needs someone my his level or his level his age to to be friends with hey we're at 38 percent of uh joker 3 already being funded like i said y'all have that funded in less than a week that means the second book mystery game has to be a lot higher than 500,000 points for two reasons one because i still need to order the game and it has to come from japan because it's the only place i can find it and two, shipping from Japan takes forever right now, so it might take a month for the game to come in. Oh, if you're on your phone, you won't see the option, I think. I think you have to be on a PC. So I need, like, I'll probably need a month for the game to come in. But even if I get lucky and get it in two or three weeks, you know, that's still quite a long time to get here. Plus, I was waiting to get the first couple of donations to make sure I could afford it because <laughs> rent just, you know, comes out at the beginning of the month. But now that I have, I can definitely get to ordering it because I know it's going to get met. And even if it doesn't, I just want the game in my library anyways. But yeah, you have to, you have to do EMS. I live right next to the Canadian border. I'll just ask Flam to, to pick up the game for me and drive it down. <laughs> Wait, no one can get into the US, my bad. Henry is misunderstood, okay? Dragon, okay? Exactly, like I said, maybe she could throw it over the border. <laughs> We will trebuchet it from Canada. Remember, they're they're French, so they have to they have to use trebuchets, not catapults. Trebuchet sounds so so polite. So dad goes to talk to the king for a bit and tells us, come back, we're doing it later. We're doing adult talk here. Oops. But not that direction. I don't know what you're talking about. So first thing we do is we go talk to the jerk that is, that is Harry. He says we're not good enough to be his lackey. I'll, uh, I'll check a couple of places again. And then we're going to talk to the queen consort. Who is angry because she thinks her son should be the next king. And not Henry. And then we're going to talk to a green guard over here. This is all required, by the way. Who's going to tell us he's seen some unsavory folks talking to the Queen Consort? Obviously, there's nothing that's going to happen, y'all. This is just all conjecture and hearsay. 
Hi, Felly. Duh, gotta go upstairs first. You really think I'm doing this all in one sitting? Hey, Don's Royal. I think I've conditioned people too much into thinking that I do all these long marathons. So when I do something like this that I plan on doing in two months, suddenly people think I'm going to die doing it all in one sitting. Yeah, but, I mean, look how many games I'm playing. Even I have limits. So we try to do something for Henry, he tr or Harry, he tricks us, runs down here to his secret hideout, we catch him, and then he gets kidnapped. <laughs> well, good news, he's not going to be a jerk anymore because he got kidnapped. So now we gotta go tell daddy that the person he was supposed to babysit got kidnapped on the first day. Wow, dad, you suck as a babysitter. Is there a TNT ticket here? No. No limits, only high spirits. Well, Joker 3 is the one that has the translation patch. Although I know they were working on a Joker 3 tri professional translation patch, but they never released it yet. Okay, so Dad goes and runs off and tells us to stay here. But we're bad at listening. I would be I would have rather do Joker uh, 3 professional, but the English translation patch for it isn't done yet as far as I know. If it is done, then I'll I'll go buy Joker uh, 3 Professional. So yeah, Dad tells us not to chase after him. We're really bad at listening. So we're going to chase after him. Well, we might be able to find it on eBay. So there's dad fighting a bunch of low-level enemies. I really shouldn't, but it's a bag of laughs. Just 55 gold. <laughs> well, I already own Joker 3. Yeah, I own Joker 3 already. I own so many Dragon Quest games, y'all. Like, I, I really wish I could I could speak uh, Japanese so I could play Itadaki Street. I've tried learning. I'm just not good at learning a language. I need someone here teaching me. Like, if I had someone that was sitting down with me every day learning with me, I probably could do it. But I just... 
learning language by myself, I just can't do it. I've tried. I am, so, one of the things about me, um, I've already said this, is I am very bad at reading comprehension. Like, I can't sit down and read something and really understand it without taking a lot of time or having help. Wait, you got a fiancé now, Melon? When the hell did that happen? Congrats! I've known you for like five or six years. That's like... Out of the blue, you got a fiancé now? <laughs> a few months ago. Oh, I know Bubbly. This is one of the Dragon Conquest games, Fortune Street. This will be one of the games I play. Yeah, but, like, I have a really hard time comprehending, uh, reading. Like, that's always been one of my biggest weaknesses, is reading comprehension. So, um, like, I either need videos, or I need someone working with me. You got too greedy, Dragon. Too greedy. No, I'm better at, like, doing. I'm better at seeing video and doing. That's why, like, people say, why don't you read manga? It's like, because I'm not good at reading that stuff. So, um... That's why I watch anime instead of read manga, because it's too much work for me to read the manga. But I can enjoy watching, like, an anime because of the, mo the moving pictures. Looked in the mirror of... Ear... I don't know what you mean by eerie's advance. <laughs> Erased... Okay, so with Dad, we're gonna go rescue. Hey, pause this all and hello, Vance. Hey, Flam. Although someone just posted a new Japanese RPG that teaches you J Japanese, I do have that um, Steam game, Learning Hiragana or Hiragana Warriors or whatever. By the way, look how bad of a badass Dad is. He just it's the it's the gate goes flying. Yeah, I'm just not good with books. Like, struggling in high school... Um, like, reading comprehension was always one of my lowest scores. Especially, like, on the SAT. Like, I could score insanely high on math, but reading comprehension? Uh-uh. It's just... It, it just... It's, it's... It's... I can't do it. My brain doesn't comprehend that well. I need someone there with me, pointing things out, maybe working with me, talking with me. Like, if I have people doing that, like, I could probably pick it up easier. So yeah, so we rescue, uh, we rescue Harry. There's no encounters in here anymore, so we can pick up chests and stuff. While Dad is going and beating up the, uh, the enemies. So, like, if I had that, if I had that, uh, ability to just work with someone, oops, I could probably eventually learn it, but doing it myself, I just, I've tried, I can't. I have one of those learning Japanese books, like, I've tried it, like, looking at courses and stuff, I just, I can't do it. I need, I need the help from others. By the way, here's this nice old man here. He called me a naughty child. 
Yeah, I'm playing on a DS. See? Say hi to my DS. So this is Bishop Ladja. He's not a nice guy. He hit the right target, at least. Oh, that was a quick death. Nice. Only two games, I think, on Conquest won't be done um, on original hardware. Um, and that's because of English translation patches. And that's Caravan Heart and Taloon's Quest 1. I don't have a I don't have a means to uh, I don't have a GBA or a, a SD2 SNES flash cart, so I can't actually play those on console. If I had the flash carts, I would, but I don't. So those two I can't quite play. So yeah, remember how the day we were born. And uh, our mom died. And now our dad comes to the rescue to, to fight Khan the Knight and uh, Slan the Rook with Bishop Laja. Yeah, you know. It's all chess pieces. Well, Bishop Laja decides to hold a giant scythe to my throat. And, well, it was nice knowing you, Dad. The last conquest I did PS2. That's why I wanted to do DS this time. Hey, Code Lizard. Hey, I see you, Bash. Rip, Daddy. And then for the best part in the game. Well, first, Daddy decides to tell you that your mom is not dead, that she was just kidnapped growing or uh, when I was a baby. So we need to go spend the rest of the game looking for her. And then he hits me with a comically oversized fireball of death to the face. And a black stain remains. So this is the end of what's called Generation 1. Um, this game spans three generations. Generation one ends basically as me, as a six-year-old, being put into slavery for the next ten years of my life. And he busts my poor gold orb. That's probably not important. Only if it's comically oversized, uh, cat. That's the important thing, is to remember comically oversized. Ten long years pass by. So, now that I'm a teenager, a hip, cool teenager, I'm in things like whips and chains. This is our work area. Doesn't pay very well, but, you know, it's a steady job. Comes with, uh, you know, free food, free lodging. There's Harry. He, uh, he's grown up now, now that he's been whipped for the last ten years. And he blames himself for your dad dying. Okay, 
thank you for 26 months of support. Wee! For 10 years of child labor. Up. <laughs> oh, all done for the day. So we need to talk to everyone in order to progress. We find out things about, like, we're building a temple. And there's people that are like, they're going to free us when the temple is done. And others are like, no, they're not. <laughs> and we also learn about a girl while we're here. A girl named Maria. By the way, this is the Order of Zugzawain. Another chess reference. I need every minute of sleep that I can get. So this is Marie over here, the beautiful one. And she used to be a priestess in the order, but then one day she helped someone and she was thrown into as a slave. That's what happens when you help people, y'all. You When you're a part of an evil cult. We also learned that her brother is a soldier here. He's the red guy that we saw earlier. Zugzawain, I believe, is a rank, a German rank or whatever. I forgot, that's her brother, by the way, that red soldier. Well, thank you, Riser. And poor Maria must have did something again because she's getting whipped already. How dare you make my shoes dirty. Hey, Dr. Madner. Okay, so now we got to keep this on two and a half hours. So we're going to go to the rescue. I'm hoping no one dies because this is actually a good experience. But sometimes someone will die. Er, ah, they're focus firing. Oh, okay, the plate of having the move. Thank you. Chess things. I knew chess things would, would clear the air for us. So, yeah, that's two levels for Harry, by the way, which is a really nice start. Chess things would, uh, I'm, I knew would have the answer to that. You mean, that's how I play chess all the time. Every time I make a move, I'm already one move left closer to losing. So, remember her brother being the, the, the officer? Well, he's going to help us escape. Through a barrel where dead bodies are stored. Over a waterfall. And our belongings were just happened to be dumped in this barrel, by the way, and saved for 10 years.
Just happened to be, by the way. But don't forget, we still have, uh, if you want to choose my waifu coming up in a couple hours. Right now, Nera is the only one who's, uh, who's winning, who's getting anything, so the delicate flower be Nera right now be winning. But now we got a little bit of a cutscene here. We're just going to sail over and float away for a while. Waiting to, waiting to snipe the donation. Uh -uh. Do sailing away on an ocean breeze. I have a dancing slime hat. <laughs> or bland black hair. <laughs> Y'all know me. I have a weakness for that blue hair. If a blue haired waifu came up to me uh, in I IRL, I probably would just like fall in love instantly. We all got our weaknesses, okay? So this is the above it all Abby, and this is the none of the above. Oh baby, the above it all Abby, the none of the above, these are, these are some of my favorite puns. Because this is the order of the above. And this is, uh, we slept for five days, and now Maria's becoming a priestess. But yeah, this is the Heavens Above Ab Abbey. With the, uh, Abyss Above All. She just went from one cult to another, that's all. And somehow she's already got over here to give us money. She gives you a thousand gold. So now it's time to leave. And, uh... Well, the name of this game is Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, but we're going to change the name now. The game is now Dragon Quest V, The Search for Mom, because we're going to spend almost the rest of the game looking for Mom. <laughs> the Search for Mom. Mother! Well, this is a JRPG and his both of his parents aren't dead, so that's a problem. They were only presumed dead. But only one of them is dead now. Harry joins Mansus.
Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is the town to the north is Fortuna. This is a casino town, and considering we've been slaves for the last 10 years, uh, we're gonna be kind and buy a chain whip for Harry because he liked getting uh, whipped so much that, uh, well, what can I say? Some people like it. Hi, Seafood. Casino. Oh, and what else are we going to do? We're going to raid the uh, the dancer's underwear. Man, being a slave does all kinds of things to you, doesn't it? Uh, hey, Wisdom. Man, I don't remember where anything is, by the way. Here we go, TNT board. Uh. Let's see, I forgot. Where are they going to let me quick save? Dang it. They don't let me quick save. I need to leave town to quick save. Mr. Poe, thank you for 55 months of support. Whee! This is fine, by the way, because I need to kill time until nighttime. And we're going to do that by going back and forth between the towns anyways. So I'm just going to take one of my times now. I think I'm just going to do a regular save. Because I don't want to burn all my TNT tickets. So we'll take care of this. Buy the slime guniform. Okay, so I want to hit the TNT boards. So we're going to uh, run on down and do the first TNT board here. Which isn't too difficult, but RNG can happen. <laughs> TNT boards are basically uh, mini games where you have these boards and you roll a die and you go as many squares as it tells you to and different treasures or things can happen. And you have X amount of rolls in order to get to uh, to the end. Hey, friendly. Oh, not too bad. How you doing? Oh, great. Oh, I didn't fall asleep. I don't know who my wee life is. Right now, Nera's in the lead. And some of these boards eventually get to be multi-level. Uh, shoot. I didn't, I should have seen what was going. I don't think they have anything. Oh, they have like packs of punches here, don't they? But that's too expensive. So you can consult the map here. If I would have went the other way, I would have just landed on a blank square, which could have been anything. There are things like trap doors and whatnot. Found nothing. Break the pot, and we got a wisdom seed. We found six gold. See that trap door is oh no. We hit the trap door.
<laughs> Time to reset. But yeah, like later on, these turn into uh, like multi-level uh, um, boards with all kinds of teleports and traps and stuff. Basically, yes. After we got out of being a slave laborer, we went to Vegas, baby. I don't know where all the TNT tickets are, and I don't feel like trying to look them all where they are, so I just save before the boards. Let's go again. Four. Forest. We got an herb. Okay, so going this way, like five would get us a chest in that direction. Let's see what we roll. Three. One, two, three. We'll take the 50 gold. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> you, oh, you just got the packs a punch joke? Because, you know, it doubles your attack power. Packs quite the punch. No, not Dazzle! I knew I should have used Roosh. Oh no, the heels are coming off. The stupid, uh, Dazzle. Come on, I got a hit. This might be another loss, by the way. We'll see what I roll in. No! I'm getting tormented. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding every trap door and everything. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, I should avoid the uh, the grasslands. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, let's try. Third time's a try. I mean, charm. Dr. Acula. With Dr. Agar. Oh, we're off to a good start. No sleep or rooney, please. Okay, good. Oh, that did no damage. That's not good. Uh, I have no herbs left. Let's take a heal. I don't remember all of the uh, the prizes. Cause I haven't done the TNT boards in like four years. Oh, I didn't want to search the ground. Oops. One, give me a chest. Boomerang, that's worth a lot of money. That's worth a couple hundred, don't roll a three. Okay, I keep rolling ones, which isn't helping by the way. Oh, uh, that's not good. This thing's got so much health. At least one of them started the fight asleep. Uh oh. I didn't heal! <laughs> Why 
Okay, let's try again. No, it's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. It's in my top 11 for Dragon Quest games. One gold coin. Chest is empty, because I already got the chest. Probably seven is my favorite. Oh, I'm still on one health! No! The game doesn't even heal you after that. We're never going to get past the first board. <laughs> first board impossible. Possible board. <laughs> yeah, finding all the shards is definitely hard. Another herb. Counter Manzis. Okay, come on, let's do this. No trap doors. Okay, don't roll a one next turn, please. Thank you. One, two, I need a three. <laughs> First try, baby. First try, every time. <laughs> And we got the edged boomerang, which is a good start. And a mini metal. <laughs> okay, we got our metal edge boomerang. Nice. Easy every time. Okay, now let's go make it nighttime now. I'm not going to try to loot every single item on the TNT board. It's hard enough getting through the TNT board sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now we need to talk to Monty the mon Monster Monitor. Uh, is there another item here? Yeah. I don't need to save. 
So this guy gives us the ability to tame monsters. And now we're going to go pick up the wagon from the oddity shop, which is only open at nighttime. <laughs> yeah, well, that is why it's called the oddity shop. You nailed it. Okay, uh, see the strength on you. Getting the ones, baby. Hardwood headgear on you. Do organize items, you. Okay, so we need to head back to where our childhood home is. And Bianca's childhood home over here. Um, and that's where we're going to try to recruit our first party member. I'm still damaged from the... No, I don't want a slime to join my party, damn it. Go away, slime. So how monster recruitment works in this game, by the way, is mo any monster you can recruit, which is not all of them, but most, has a percentage chance to join you when they're the last enemy killed in combat. And the first one we're going to try to recruit is, oops, I'm going too high, is the apple, which is a one and two chance to recruit. 50%. Also, if Manzus ever dies, that's fine. We just don't want Harry to die. Uh, there's a few that does that. Because for this chapter, anytime uh, Manzus is dead and I enter a town, I get a free heal. Six, you don't bonk your head. So yeah, what I'm trying to do is... Is, uh, get an apple. Apples are very tanky, have a lot of health to start. But they don't gain a lot of stats overall. So, like, they're good for a while, but eventually they just tail off. Okay, well, that's fine. Be oh, wait, no, that was Harry. Never mind, I swapped. So, if Harry dies, guess what? I need to go here and resurrect him. I forgot I swapped party members, because I was hoping uh, Harry wouldn't get a tag bag there. Well, the other good news, uh, good use of the apple is he can equip the poison needle. Which is great when you want to farm liquid metal slimes. Okay, so in this encounter, you can't recruit Wickerman. So it doesn't matter where you kill him or the apple, but... 50% chance to get the apple? First try. The apple does learn sap also. 
Which is another good reason to have the apple. Now the problem is the apple won't listen to me until level 8. Because that's when he gets 20 wisdom. Although, since I picked up... No, wait. I think I reset out of the first wisdom seed, didn't I? Shoot, if I would have had two wisdom seeds, I could have lowered that. <laughs> so Harry mentions going back to Colburn and nearby is the town I grew up in which has a item waiting for me that dad left there for me. Okay, so we need to... Steel Fang to you. But yeah, he starts... Adam's the apple starts with 90 health. Also, we're going to get ready to do some uh, metal slime farming. The best that we can, at least. Oh yeah, we gotta go get Slime Knight first. Before I do that. Oops. Hey Stormy, they always do. So I'm gonna pick up a bunch of healing. No, I gave it to the wrong person. Grab some fairy wa holy water, which I'm gonna have to swap. Oop, don't have enough on me for that many. We'll just take oops, this many for now because we're gonna get more money and probably die. Slime Knight is an enemy you can use for a very long time because of resistances. Um, and he gets healing. Okay, so now we're going to do something kind of dangerous and let's try to collect a Slime Knight. You can only get to him from a... Uh, from another zone. A higher level zone, the Colbert zone. And, uh, yeah, this zone can hurt. I can die easily. <laughs> and there's some pretty nasty formations. So we need to get rid of the owl bears first. Uh, hopefully Harry doesn't die. Hopefully Harry doesn't die. Okay, so we got a 25% chance to recruit this guy. They're 1 in 4 for Slime Knight. Hey, first try. They, this game knows it's not a damn speed run. Fraud, thank you for the tier 3 sub for 48 months. Whee! <laughs> This game knows I'm not doing a speed run. It gave me first try Apple, first try Slime Knight. Ugh. Okay, I need to do this because I made a mistake. Oops.
Okay, let's see what else I can buy now. I can sell the other boomerang if I need to. Which I think I will. Bonus boomerang. Okay, so I need to buy... More holy water... Okay, let's go see if we can kill some metal slimes while we're diving the next dungeon. Do 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 do. So this is the place where I started. And don't worry, Stormy, people have been have been dropping channel points for for it. We're only on day two right now, and we're already up to 45% of the goal being met. I knew 500,000 was too low. I should have started with a million. Oh, you can only drop so many a day, so don't worry. Tomorrow you can drop 4,000. The next day I think you can drop 6,000. It does cap you so you don't reach the goal like in one hour. A brownie. Do we want a bonus brownie, y'all? You know what? This is a casual playthrough. And I'm hungry. Let's take a brownie. Bonus brownie, baby. You know how long it's been since I've had a brownie? Okay, so we're going to use some monster munchies here to increase the encounter rate. And, uh... See if we can get some, uh, some slimes. Probably should have waited till the next floor to do it, but... I wouldn't eat me if I were you. Good sound advice from a talking apple. Can't run. But he can run just fine. Okay. When two of them are here, that could suck because that can split damage. Ooh. Yes, Adam got a hit. Nice. Nice. Slam one gotten. Ha! Only one of them ran away. <laughs> Ideally, I would like uh, Manzis to get to level 14 here if I could.
that would be the best outcome. So we got to give build ourselves a bridge on the floor below. Yeah, it's kind of a crapshoot if it does in a speed run because you got to kill a bunch of them. And uh sometimes you just party members die before you can kill them and as you can see, I'm not having the best uh, flea uh, rate with them right now. As most of them are running away. Yeah, I've had a lot of them run away so far. Ooh, this isn't good. Uh... Hopefully I heal. Okay. I have to kissap them, by the way, because they have a ton of, uh, they, they have a ton of defense. See, that's what happens a lot in a speed run is, like, someone will get focused down and killed, especially Manzis. And, uh, it's just not worth it anymore. I hate when there's extra encounters like this because there's a good chance it's just going to run away and waste all my water! Again! Holy crap! How many slimes have run away so far? I've seen, what, like eight slimes and only one hasn't run away? Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Hi, hello. Hello, Andorina. And... Well, that was the person who donated for me to name the character that. Oh no. Stop focus firing. Uh, that's not good. Don't hit him. Okay, didn't hit him yet. Yeah, he's playing through all the games himself. I've already played all the games. He's playing them for the first time. Herbert Hoover, Newster. Probably. Ah. Yeah, I plan on going straight for the next couple months. He made a great vacuum cleaner, too. Yeah, this isn't going very well, because I'm failing horribly to run from every encounter. So I'm healing after every fight. Ugh, this is terrible, no.
Yeah, you might have to get the 3DS version. The 3DS version is something, that's for sure. Okay, so we've had some really horrible Metal Slime luck so far. Okay, one of them stuck her while well, two of them, that's a... Okay. Kill him with three damage? No! Okay, we should be able to kill. Uh... Someone? Hit it? Someone didn't hit it! Ah! Uh, see, freaking Adams is just not attacking. I tune, John. <laughs> Bugger frickin' at least this one wanted to stick around. All the Dragon Quest 8. Uh, okay, good. This encounter I probably would have just attacked instead of trying to run because I didn't want to fail to run to eight enemies. Ugh, I don't really like this. Good, Adam's attacked and hit, so we got the kill. Yeah, that was only a three health slime. I mean, I could. When I take my first break coming up soon, I'll do that. So I'm gonna have to use the restroom and whatnot here shortly. I am Team Nera, personally. I thought about adding another box to have current donation incentives up. I probably should have done that. Ah, oh, Adam's missed. Come on, three health. Nope. Okay, cool, we got another one anyways. I think it's something like six or seven I need to get to level 14. Uh, let's see, heal up you. Fourteen is when I learned the evac spell. But there is slimes in the next dungeon I'll be going to, or one of the next dungeons. But they're a lot less common. Nah, Apple missed again. Yeah, not much I can do if Apple misses. I could give him some holy water, but that's about it. So we get the Zenithian sword, but... <laughs> Poor Harmony. 
So we pick up the Zenithian sword, but wah, wah, wah. I'm actually not the hero. Oops, I didn't want to open that. But you all get to see it. It gives you a little note on where mom went. So yeah, you find out that the hero is not actually the hero because he can't wield the Zenithian sword. Well, yeah, the game tries to force you to do Bianca. That's the one that I want. Okay. Back to grinding again. Especially since we still have monster munchies active. Uh, I need some holy water again soon. Crap. I don't have a whole lot of extra on me. I burnt a lot more than I wanted to. You got the nightlight, right? Yeah, perfect. I'm hungry when I see it. If I don't get any more, that's fine, but... <sighs> Rip my monster munchies. Dang it! More holy water gone. Yeah, the apple looks delicious. Okay, well, we're just going to walk out now because we don't have evac. If we happen to get the kills that I want along the way, great. If not, we got up to level 12, which is still pretty good. I've always been a Nera girl, what can I say? I'm a Nera girl in a narrow world. Thank you, Raiska, for the host. Oops. Because Nair is such a beautiful, delicate flower. Such a beautiful, delicate flower. Oh, we got four kills so far. Up to a good start. Would have been better if it was six or seven, but we'll take it. Oops. Oh, yeah, I got the brownie. Uh, shoot. I think I killed Lunar Boot a little bit. I'll give it a couple minutes and see if it comes back. So now we're going to head to Colburn to go see, uh, go check, uh, up on Harry uh, and his uh, brother, who should be king by now. And we're going to find out that the town is being basically run by a tyrannical queen. The queen consort. Uh, let me try something. Give me a second here.
Frank Ophobe. Ooh, no encounter. Nice. Probably should hit up the end. I don't think we really need to, but... So the castle... Uh, is guarded and we can't get in because the queen consort won't let anyone in. So we gotta sneak in through the back door. Yes, Super Famicom only has parties of three. That's one of the changes they made to the DS version. Well, we'll find out in a few minutes if restarting the bot worked. If not, then... Oop, it looks like it worked. We just gotta wait for it to come up. Yay, Mooney's restart command actually works. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I want to get the... Yes, there was monster capturing in the original. Of course I'd fail to run away to six slime knights. Yay, your restart button worked, uh, Mooney. Transfer that to you. Because this is a much better upgrade from his current weapon. Like, by, like, 25 attack power. Rip all of Ironic's metal slimes. The bag is infinite. Should have did that before the grind. <laughs> Gotta get that brownie some levels. Wait. Shoot! 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 That focus fire. <laughs> Dead focus fire. Well, even regular heal would have been enough, but. Level 13. Hey, Reiko. Not too bad. So, there's the queen, by the way. She's thrown in jail, the real one. Because that kind of tells us that the Queen Consort is not real and she's evil. And uh, we're going to go up here and talk to Harry. Sorry about the music outside, if you can hear it. That is the number of Metal Slimes I've killed this conquest. No, I'm not going to do Run Away, because screw that. It's already bad enough i got to count the ones I'm killing. I don't know if he's level capped. Never tried. <laughs> yeah, very RBG. So Wilbur realizes this is Harry and he tells us to go get the Mirror of Raw, which will show the fake consort, Queen Consort, and we can deal with her. This also lets us raid the treasury. Which has uh, some gear and some money. Let's me upgrade uh, Slime Knight a bit now. Ion armor. 
monies. Seed of life. So we're gonna upgrade uh, Slime Knight's weapon now. Now that we rich, buy a uh, steel broadsword for good old Gudian. Okay, who has iron armor? You do. Actually, I'll hold on to that because I might use it. Okay, so we need to take the backdoor teleporter here, which is going to take us to the good old Heavens Above Abbey. Because they're the ones in charge of the Above It All Tower. Which bear? Owl bears, yes, I believe. So we need to come here and pick up Maria because she's the uh, she's needed in order to open the tower that we need to climb. The tower is the first area where we can try to recruit a restless armor, although I don't think that's going to happen, and I'd rather focus on that later in the game when I can kill him faster. <laughs> She needs to be recognized by the goddess to open the door. That would be funny if she comes with us and the door doesn't open. Okay, so we're going to do this is night light. Night light serves two purposes. One, it uh, makes it nighttime. And two, if you're inside a building or a town, it takes you to the exit. <laughs> so this just sets up the day-night cycle. Because otherwise it would be nighttime when we got to the tower and the tower is not open at nighttime. So we kind of just saved ourselves some work is all. Well, the tower's open, I should say, but the portal isn't. Okay, this is where I'm going to take my first restroom break, y'all. Uh, so I'm going to step away for about two or three minutes, because I also want to update something real quick. And uh, I will... Also, i got to put something behind my webcam, because black square. Good old farting ferret. Okay, so I will be back in uh, just a couple minutes, y'all. Enjoy the apple's butt.
Okay, I'm back. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. I was just fixing a couple of things too. I grab myself a nature valley bar. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me set things back up here. There we go. Uh, get myself a light snack going. <laughs> she opens up the tower for us. Rip Ray. Um for specific incentives, it's donations. For consoles and stuff right now, it's bits. Unless I can come up with something else to do. Oh shoot, I forgot to do something else. Unless I can come up with another reason to use bits for something. But you may be able to convince me to use bits. At the end of the day, it's all going for the same thing. So if you look on the top screen, or the small screen, you'll see mom and dad, ghost mom and dad, standing there. Just chilling. Got some hooligans. Watch out for the hooligans. Your mom's actually not dead. You find out, uh, yeah, you're right. She is alive, but the ghost image is there. Exactly. How could she be? Inquiring minds want to know. Fifty percent of the challenge has been completed. I don't know, Lamp Station. I don't read Japanese. Ooh, a restless armor. Hey, if anything, we could try to get them to drop their item. Ow! Uh, I really don't want you using mid heal, but. Nope. Attack you. Kill the heal slime first. No lucky 1 in 64 to start. Hmm. Yeah, they didn't actually start placing doing puns in Dragon Quest games in the West until, uh, until 8. Uh, 1 in 64 to recruit it. That's one of my donation goals, is to recruit a Restless Knight. Okay, so now we have the mirror, now we gotta go deal with the fake queen. Uh, let's see, give your hat to you. Well, I'll have to recruit him later. So the fake Queen Dewanger can actually hit kind of hard, but 
I have a lot of levels. <laughs> yes, her name is uh, Fake Queen Dwayinger, by the way. Look, two queens. Ah, 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 ah. Not one, two. Ah, 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 ah. That wretched mirror. I'll get you and your children. Wait. Okay, but yeah, like I said, she can actually hit uh, hard. Tactics, you show no mercy. Oh yeah, you wanna dazzle to start. So But she goes down pretty fast because she has 650 health. And if Harry dies, that's fine. See ya, Harry. Fierce Fire does hurt, by the way. Oh, True One wants the king back. Uh. Do, 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 do. Follow the wanger. Sounds almost like a Mega Man X boss, doesn't it? The foe doing her. So Harry leaves our party now. Rip all of the humans, except for me. But I'm not even the legendary hero, so what kind of human am I? Okay, so we want to organize items all. Uh, I don't know. Is the chain whip better than what I have? I don't think it is. It is slightly better. And we're going to use the nightlight because it allows us just to exit the town instead of walking all the way out. No King Harry. And by the time we get to where we want to go, it's going to be daylight, so night, time, night light works great. So we need to, we got permission to use a ship to continue searching for mom. So we get off this starting area. And onwards to the next area. Brownie's like, it's my time, it's my time. And like, no, get back in there. Your time will be in the volcano. When we melt you down and make you a gooey brownie. Yes, she stays behind with Harry and very soon they're already gonna be married. <laughs> they don't waste time getting married. At all. Just like the hero doesn't waste much time getting married. Manzis will, will not take long to get married.
People die. People die and get married on a on a whim in this game. Yeah, I've seen it, uh, Remy. And because we're lazy... I would say it's a good movie. The ending is a little questionable, but... The movie overall is really good. Okay, so we are headed to the next town of Zoomingdale, which is where we learn the Zoom spell after we talk to Toil Professor Toil in Trouble and get the Lunar Zoom Bloom. Or I could just, you know, fail to run a million times. Thank you. Uh, magic you. Mid heal. <laughs> okay, so we need to buy some herbs for you. Ew, Dragon Quest, run. Stugging up on some goodies. Uh, the ending is very, very controversial, that's for sure. <laughs> So this is Professor Toil in Trouble, and he will teach us the Zoom spell when we go get him a plant. Nice and easy. Gotta get the Lunar Zoom Bloom, baby, that only comes out at night. <laughs> He's like, good luck going to get it. I'm going to bed, loser. And us, well, <laughs> we're lazy. Leave me alone. It's a bloom that make you zoom. No bonking allowed. What is this? Holy crud. I am not having any luck running. By the way, I could die here. I am not having any luck at all running from anything. All the metal slimes. Because they always run. Always come up short. You. So the good news is, is any time in this generation when the hero is dead, or when Manzus is dead and he enters a town, it's a free resurrection.
Yeah, let the apple carry the coffin. That's what he gets for not tanking more hits. That'll teach him for next time. <laughs> Time to blow ourselves up a place and get ourselves the zoomy zoom boom. It's gonna blow! Poof! The end. And that was the end of our adventure. On to the next game! Okay, so we need to zoom to Fortuna. So the zoom spell allows us to teleport now. Which is yay! And one of the reasons we have to come back here is because the oddity shop has another item for us. The oddity shop now will sell us the big book of beasts. Which is actually a very good item. Oop. Why do I feel like I'm missing some? Oh, you know what I should have done? No, I'm fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the book in here, and the ribbon here. Oh, I forgot to open the book. Oh, well. I just have not had any luck running, have I? Look at that, there's three failed runs again. Hi, crafty dog. I also did not want to enter this town at nighttime, but... So you saw that little cutscene there with the saber cat? We're going to go after chasing that saber cat. So what does the big bo book of beasts do? Whenever you open it when you're on the world map, you reset the encounter rate. So you can basically go the overworld now with no random encounters. Does it ever. Hi, Suki. Uh, this way. Oh no, it's for killing all slimes. It's just the king is the one that looks the best on a picture. Obviously, I haven't killed any kings yet. Uh, there is no chapters in this game. I'm in the second generation. So you go into this fight here, you use Bianca's ribbon. The saber cat remembers who you are and it's Bomberin. You got hurricaned in here. Only four so far. I wish it was more, but it's only four. 
So we got Saber Cat now. We got Bomberin to join our party. We had to ring his bell a little bit to get him to join. Big bowl of beef stew. Oh, yeah. The good stuff. Let's see. Iron Curious to you. So we got Daddy's sword that the puppy gives us also. So yeah, this is Adult Balmerin. He grew up a little bit over the last 10 years. Went feral, destroyed a bunch of stuff. You know, the good stuff. Yeah, but they always hide the nugget from me, though. Stop hiding the nugget from me. The big book of other bees. Oh, I gotta go to Colburn first. Oops, my bad. I knew I was missing a trigger somewhere. We need to go find out that Harry got married. Ah, I don't think seven has chapters either. <laughs> but I can always tell you which island I'm on or which section of the game. We are coming up on the wedding part of this game soon. In which uh, the waifu bid war will end. And it's not much of a bid war right now, but Nera right now is the... Uh, clear winner <laughs> gotta say hi to the married couple this is actually a story trigger that you have to hit so you need him to like show off that he's married so you get jealous and you'll get married too huh Yeah, but I don't know if you could put a number on it, though. You could just say, hey, I'm in the uh, Probina chapter. <laughs> oh, man, the rich wife sounds good, Breach. Blue-haired, rich wife. Okay, so now we're going to head down to Monstroferato. Debra is a new character in the DS version. Hey, Bakuryu. Thank you for the bits. And I will stream as much as I can. No, it's not implied. It's it's known. <laughs> Those blue ropes, by the way, are really dangerous. They have sizzle. The uh, the second tier fire spell, and that hurts this early in the game. Okay, so we come here and see bow bow bow. Which apparently is how a dog barks. And we get to meet the beautiful flower that's Nera. <clears throat> Bingo is no Mr. Barkington, unfortunately. Bye.
bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. Bingo doggies in the house. So we come here and there's a contest going on apparently. Where uh, Mr. Briscoletti is going to make a uh, a uh, a contest to see who can marry his daughter's hand. This is Crispin Burns, by the way. For some reason, he has a name. They just wanted to give that pun, I guess. And in order to get our girlfriend, we need to go through two areas and pick up rings. There is the next waifu, by the way, Debra. She is a stuck-up snobby witch to the capital B. Very pompous, very cruel. No one likes her. So you have the delicate flower Nera, who's beautiful and nice. And you have Debra, and then you have Bianca, which is coming up soon. So the first part of the quest is to go into a volcano and get a ring of fire. <sighs> Good, you should feel bad for not marrying Nera. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, mage. No, the game doesn't tell you anything. Good luck. Who cares if she can use Falcon's earring? She's a stone statue for most of the game. <laughs> Oop. Except for the whole not erupting thing. Hey, Nesty. Oops. There's a very high encounter rate on mountains, so... Okay, we're going to try this a little bit and see if we can pull this off. But I don't remember the timing for this. Hey, look at... Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I did it! Got the out of bounds. This fight, by the way, is scary as hell. Please don't focus on Apple. So there's not many points in the game where you can go out of bounds. This is one of them. <laughs> uh, up first. No wait, down first. Wow, they keep giving me this dumb fight. Like I said, this is the scariest fight in here. And, uh, I can't run. So you're gonna see me do this a lot, by the way, throughout the run. Rotate in characters. Although, my brownie already died. Crap, I wanted to go north first. Money. Stop giving me these gamogens, jeez.
Uh, it's not good. I can't run from any of them. Ooh, we don't want him to die, otherwise that's bad. Yeah, they keep giving me the worst enemy over and over and over again. These ones aren't much better, by the way, but... Those are the two worst enemies of the ones you just saw. Goodyane is how I'm going to beat the boss of this dungeon. Okay, these aren't terrible. No, it's magma. Liquid hot magma. Brownie was sacrificed here because that's what his job is to do. Is to get sacrificed in this encounter. <laughs> that's his entire job. Or in this dungeon. Transfer that to you for hardwood headgear. That's the whole reason why I picked up Brownie, was to sacrifice himself in here. I really want experience, and I'm not really... ...getting anything good. Although I should have taken a, on the killing machines. No, it's not a tomato, it's an apple. It's only a tomato to purple Mario. Because I do want to try to reach level 14 and I wasn't really farming anything. <sighs> uh, shoot. This is risky. I gotta take Goodyean off of. Show no mercy. Oh, not the elephant. This guy can blow you out of combat. I don't know if I'm going to get to level 14, though. Might have to do some extra farming. There are metal slimes in this dungeon. Okay, line up. Just put you. Item. Pancreas. see. We need magic water to you. Now that's the Nithian sword. Pancreas is sword. To you. Okay, so this boss coming up is actually really dangerous. Like, super dangerous. It's three uh, magma men, and they do a ton of fire damage. Okay, so we're gonna try to see if we get any saps off. Your job is to hopefully soak a hit. You need to buff a booty aim. Good turn order. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can hit another sap. Hey, we sapped two of them. Okay, so now that he's double buffed, uh... 
So he won't take any real physical damage, but he'll take fire damage. Wait, he's still taking five damage. Did I... Oh! Did I not give him something? The fact that he's taking five damage is weird. These things have a lot of health, by the way. They have over 400 health each. I'm curious why I'm not taking one damage. Did I not get an equipment or something? Oh, I never got the iron shield. That's why. That answers why I'm taking more than one damage. Wow, I crit that one twice. Yeah, it would reduce it by a couple points. The last one is sapped, so it should go down fast. Plus, I can bring in extra party members to help. But yeah, they got like 420 health each. And there's three of them, they do a lot of fire damage. Really a scary fight. Of course, he uses fire in the first turn. Okay, now we get rid of Saber. He helped out. I got kind of unlucky there with the fire breaths. Good, I got to level uh I got to level fourteen on Manzus. Which means I got Evac. So we got our circle of fire. Now all we have to do is get the circle of water, which is much faster and easier to get. And then shortly after we get the ring of water, that's when we, uh, that's when we got the waifu bid war comes to an end. Yeah, I forgot to do this. Slightly late now, but... Keeps him safer still. I have to use the inn because my day-night cycle's off. Because I didn't use the inn the first time I came here. That will work, Archangel. That's magic water, right? Jess Duralls wants the Kang back. Ugh. Although the Circle of Water dungeon can still be pretty dangerous. Hey, they, they need love too, okay? So we need to ship to get there, but there's one problem. There's a gate that's closed along the way. So we need to go talk to our childhood friend. 
who is over there praying at a gravestone right now, to open the way for us. They were ahead of the curve, baby. <clears throat> Our childhood friend, all grown up. Hi! Thank you for 24 months of support. Talked late into the night. Actually, I'm sleeping. I didn't really talk with her late into the night. <laughs> I just went to bed. I gotta keep trying to find TNT tickets, by the way. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look them up online. But poor Whitey is dying, so Bianca needs someone to hang with. Yes, they do have uh, random Australians. Don't you know Gemma and Eleven? Crikey! 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 <laughs> Freaking Gamma. So the next cave is not too long, but there is like one really dangerous enemy in it that can stun lock your entire party. And it will stun lock your entire party. Because for some reason it never seems to miss with paralysis breath. <laughs> Yep, full party paralysis is a wipe. Also, we're not taking her with us. Because she likes to talk a lot and it's annoying. And she's not even a good waifu, anyways. <laughs> she is an S tier waifu, but not that kind of S. Jiggery pokers. Those worm bats are the worst. They're the ones that have paralysis breath. And for some reason, it hits way more often than it ever should. Don't know why, it just does. Goody bags. Money. And a juicy hot ball. I could go for a hot bog right about now. Yeah, money bags are worth a couple hundred gold. I like money bags. Mm. 
We got some gas tanks. <coughs> I don't know why I'm fighting, I just am. <laughs> I didn't say any anything along those lines, mage. I just said that she's S tier, but not that S. Whatever you think up is your own imagination. And your own prejudice. I don't want Manzis to die because then I can't evac when I'm done. This one is one more up. Probably should go for the one that fuddles. I don't care if I get poisoned. I'm more worried about the one that follows. I'm just taking the extra money is all. Ooh, baby. All of the money. I thought I had more like a Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> I thought I was more of a Woody Woodpecker. Maybe a Fran Drescher. <laughs> Is that Elmer Fudd with a rake or with a shotgun? What do you mean the final four? Dang, I was going the right way. I haven't done these dungeons, some of these dungeons in a while, so. Oh no, I haven't done them. This is the first one. I'm not doing them order. I'm doing... Some of them are going to be ordered by raffles. Some are going to be... Oops. Wait, this is not the right way to go. Yeah, it is. Wait, there was another way. Uh, I didn't go the other way I wanted to go. Because there's an item I wanted to pick up. Like, at the end of this stream, I'm going to actually spin the wheel for game two. Because I need to set up raffles properly. And, uh, and I want to know ahead of time before what the, what the next game is before. So at the end of the stream, uh, I will spin the wheel. That's what I wanted to do, by the way. To determine what game two will be. And then game three will be done with raffles. I already have enough garbage I have to recruit. Barbados is a 1 in 256 also. Seymour, thank you for five months of support. Whee! Yeah, I know, the Dragon Quest V movie. Okay, so we're going to be getting the Ring of Water here shortly, and then a couple minutes after that, that's when whoever's in the lead will be the waifu that we take. So, any last moment snipes, now is the time, or shortly is the time to do it. Because once I uh, sleep at the end, that's where I'm going to stop counting. Mm. 
Oops. How about we zoom? Do do do. It's not Mr. Barkington. Yay! So we come here and we're like, hey, we got the rings. And he's like, good, you're going to marry my daughter. And then Bianca kind of, she's like, wait, you love Bianca. Bianca loves you too, right? Now you got to choose who you want. And my answer is yes. Wait. <laughs> oh <laughs> thank you Riwa Maji for the $18.72 thou shalt marry Bianca because Nara's Japanese voice actress as rivals DQ Heroes is already married IRL to Kencho Ono for names hero will be Eris just like your story Wait, so how much are you putting towards each one? <laughs> Rewa? How much are you putting towards each one? I don't know what it is. So how much to the names then? You want 15 to Bianca and how much to the names? Because you said you were going to name the children too. Do, 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 do. Uh, what kind of currency did you send me? Because I only got 1872. <laughs> you sent me 1872, which I don't know what currency that was to get it at that at that number. <laughs> okay, well Bianca's got 15 now, and Nara's got five. Okay, Bianca has 12. And then I'll put three for each of the kids. <laughs> so I need to go to the inn and then I need to talk to two people and then the moment I lay back down in the inn Whatever the total is at, that's the one I'm getting married to. Whether it's the wrong choice, like... Ooh! $30 from Mara for Nara. Mara Nara. Dang! Thank you, Mara! <laughs> you still have, like, two minutes left to donate, so... Once I jump into bed... That's when the total stops. I gotta talk to two people real quick. <laughs> Gonna talk to the future daddy. A lot the waifu bid war always gets vicious. That never changes. <laughs> Thank you, Mara, for the gifted sub to Rewa. Whee! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Rewa donated $35 for, uh, no Bianca. Does that mean no to Bianca or yes to Bianca? <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I know, I was just teasing you, because it said no, Bianca. <laughs> but I know what you were getting at. <laughs> okay, that's it for the bid war, because I slept. Thank you very much, Rewa and, Mer and Nera, or Mera for making it slightly exciting at the end. But Bianca will be our waifu of choice. Someone has to get the snipe. Always. So let me go ahead and update. 
the uh, the document completely now. Let's see. Sun is going to be right now. Eris daughter will be Hachama. Yes, spoilers, uh, you have children. Um. <laughs> yes, they become playable. In fact, in the speed run, the, the two kids are used in the final party. And of course, as, as it should be, Deborah gets no love. <laughs> Uh, each, your kids, well, the only thing that affects your kids is the hair color. Your waifus each have different stats and spells and abilities, but the kids will only, their hair color will change. <laughs> Time for boring old Bianca. Blue hair is the best, but not today. Or tomorrow, or the day after, or whatever, how long it takes for me to recruit these stupid monsters. <laughs> Thank y'all for the donations that you did give, though. Much appreciated. Yeah, they never become relevant. They're not relevant because they're not with me. So, <laughs> we need to go pick up now a, uh, the veil before we can get married. So, there's two things that happen here. If you choose, um... If you choose Bianca like I have, you end up um, going uh, basically right to the chapel and getting married. And then after that, you can uh, you can head out and start your adventure. If you marry one of the other two, you get married inside a casino boat. <laughs> um, and uh, then you have to do a small side quest before you can leave. I'm not married. <laughs> and I'll never be married with that attitude. I'm still poisoned, by the way. This one will be Bianca. She won the bit. She won the waifu war. In the speed run, so there is a downside to, uh, to, to getting Bianca also, by the way. And the big downside is I don't get the two free items that Mr. Briscoletti sent you. So I don't get the bonus flowing dress and I don't get the bonus sacred armor. Okay, I need three moon orb bulbs. Okay, let's get married. <laughs> well, normally you pick the right one at least. Oh yeah, I gotta put the veil in my inventory. <laughs> Feeling like a rebel, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you can hear the dishes going on in the background. 
<laughs> or putting away the dishes, more like. Excuse me. Exactly. He's like, my roomie's like, someone has to be the housemaid. I'm like, uh, he's not dressed for that. <laughs> yeah, but nothing underneath. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll still do the, 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 the casino ship TNT. But we'll just have to do that later when we can get there. I mean, you have to do it later anyways, because you can't go to the TNT board now. It's been ages since we've seen each other. So this game assumes that, like, months are going past when you're doing all this. Because going through a dangerous volcano, sailing an entire ocean, to go to a cave and dive the cave... Like, the game is assuming that this is taking months to do, and not just, like, 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. You know, insta-baby. Dan, I thank you for 43 months of support. Whee! We have gathered here today in the presence of the almighty goddess to celebrate the happy union of Mantis and Bianca. Will you start with the wedding vows? Do you, Mantis, take Bianca to be your wife? To love and to cherish in sickness and health, for as long as both shall be resurrected from death in the church. Marriage, marriage, the blessed awainment. And do you, Biancola, take Amandus to be your husband, to love and to cherish in sickness and health, for as long as you shall be resurrected from death in the church. But thou must. But thou must, Ellie. Then we shall be move on to the exchange of the wedding wings. So, in the presence of the goddess, you will be demonstrate to everyone here that your union is complete. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> yes, you did, Braxis. Yes, you did. May your everlasting blood... Wait. Marriage. Marriage, that blessed arrangement. I tried to do it, but there was only so many R's that I could actually, like, turn into W's. You should give him Deborah, just so he has to listen to Deborah the entire game. You should donate for Deborah, just so he has to talk to Deborah the entire game. Because that would probably be cool. <laughs> you could, With this kiss, you are now knocked up. Congratulations, in nine months you got a baby. Or in nine minutes. However long it takes me to get across to the next dungeon. <laughs> now we're stuck with her for the rest of our life. The end. No insta baby here. I mean, she's basically already pregnant and we've barely even jumped out of the bed. And I got sticky buns. Hey, if you just conquered your wedding night, you might jump up and down on the bed too, mage, okay? Well... 
I guess you could cook breakfast. Or you could starve for the next four hours. <laughs> you can recruit medals, but there's no way I'm going to unless it's by accident. <laughs> Take the shield and the money. Wait, why did I wing out? Hatman, and thank you for 48 months of support. Whee! I want to zoom to... Where are we going? Harbor. Okay, so uh, we have you, which means we want to... Or who has it? You do. Robe of Serenity to you. She literally was only wearing a wedding veil, by the way. She was not wearing anything else. Ah. So now we're going to pick up our ship and go all the way to the other side of the world. And yes, he's going to be eaten by an apple. Pretty much, uh, Harmony, yes. Oh, I remember those days back in college. Celebrating the Sabbaths, Skyclad was optional. <laughs> I can't talk about some of the games that some of the people played during those times. Because <laughs> I'm streaming. <laughs> okay, replace the words with Disney words. Okay. Um, there was... Wait a sec, let me change up my lineup. There, there was the Goofy on the Pole match. Um, <laughs> I'll stop right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we need to sail all the way to the other corner of the world, literally. I'm going to stop here to get the return point. Uh, DS version gets four characters. I want donuts. I mean, my roomie's making breakfast right now, so... You did that last night. Well, yeah. But I said donuts. That means more than one. They probably do, but... Like, they have the Reese's Donuts, but they won't put them on the website, so I can't order them. Okay, so we are going to have to climb Mount Batten now. And, uh... We need to get across this, because we heard rumor that... The, uh, the place where my daddy was born, and where I was born... Um is a castle on the other side over here. I mean, there is legendary donuts too, but dang, those things are expensive. It's like 15 bucks for six. And you can't even really choose what you want. It like forces you to choose a couple of boxes. Rip Wacka. By the way, we don't care if she dies here. I know. Bianca dies, oh well. Yeah, you all have voodoo donuts over down there, but vo I'll tell you one thing though, there is one shop I went to that was better than voodoo donuts. What? No. Uh. What was it? Dang it, what was the name of the damn shop? I'll remember, give me a second. It wasn't voodoo donuts, it was. 
What's the name of that place in California? Yeah. I have it on my phone, probably. Psycho Donuts, that's it. Oh, Psycho Donuts. Now that was glorious. By the way, I missed the prayer ring. I probably should go back and get it. Yeah, there's a place in North Cal, San Fran area, called Psycho Donuts, and those are so freaking good. I like them more than I like Voodoo. I tell you, though, Voodoo Donuts, when you walk into that shop, you smell something, that's for sure. totally forgot to that way come get that yeah I mean I'd ordered legendary donuts but I don't even know if they deliver this late yeah but if they'll still deliver this late though well not just San Fran it's San Fran San Jose Santa Santa Clara area there's, there's like three Psycho Donuts or something like that. I went to the one in San Jose. I just remember that they're in that area. They're so good. Oh. For what, Legendary? 90 minutes to get donuts. Well, she didn't survive that. We have a place up here called Legendary Donuts, which are all right. They have some good stuff, some creative stuff, but yeah, any of those fancy donut shops are just too damn expensive. Yeah, it's 16 bucks for six is what they're charging. At least Krispy Kreme, although they're not the best donuts, you can still get a dozen for 12, 13 bucks. <laughs> okay, so we're at the halfway point of our mountain adventure now. Where we stop in a town because, well, Bianca's not much of an adventurer. Oh yeah, she's pregnant too. But, she's not much of an adventurer. Duncan is alright. I haven't had a Duncan's Donut in forever since I lived in Florida. Oh, this don't... It's more expensive to live up here, Mara. Krispy Kreme does not have $7 dozens up here. <laughs> Maybe $11 glazed or something like that, but... Living up here is more expensive. Oh, Dockside Donuts? You can pick your own? I don't know. I think I've heard of it, but I don't think I've been there. Which app are you using? Now I gotta look, y'all. Because I have a hankering for donuts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, Harmony. That's going to stay with you forever. It is screenshotted and saved forever. Where the heck did it kick me offline? Oh, well, Top Pot's even worse than Legendary. Forever. Oh, well, Rip being in there forever now. There we go. I wanted a second pack of Monster Munchies. So we're gonna grab a free bottle of Packs a Punch here, cause it packs a mighty punch. 
How much money did I save up? Enough. Perfect. Fire Claw. Four. Saber. I wonder if I remember my password. I don't know why it logged me out. Dang it, I don't know if I remember my password. I don't even know why it made me, or uh, why my password not working. I only got a couple of passwords that I use in this case. Give me my donuts! Ah! I know, how dare mods actually work in my channel? Well, I'm just gonna smell bacon and not get donuts, y'all. Woo! Okay, what do they got? <laughs> wow, they got a lot of donuts. Your phone is so bright. Holy crap. Dude, I'm old. I don't want to see anything this bright. What do they got for donuts? Oh, they're like a buck twenty-five or something each. Let's see, dozen donuts. Premium plus. I don't know what. See, it doesn't even tell you what you would get for a dozen premium plus. I don't know, they don't even have that good of ideas, do they? Yeah, but I was looking for something good, not, not the typical donuts that you get literally everywhere. Hell yeah! That's why I started talking legendary donuts. Give me my donuts! Actually, that I should have tried that password to see if it would work. <laughs> there, I got a restless armor. Does that count as a recruiting one? <laughs> By the way, this dungeon does have liquid metal slimes, but I don't gain any bonus for killing any of them. What are these chests? I forgot. Oh, this one was a mimic. That's why I forgot. Okay. we go just farming experience y'all I needed the levels and the mini metals <clears throat> actually the money is not such a bad thing to have because like I said since I married uh, Bianca I don't have the the money that I normally would like to have from the free-flowing dress marrying Bianca uh, this way. I do want to talk to this bugger. Because you can get three items from him. This isn't a Zenithian who's lived for a thousand years, a hundred years. He tells you, I got a TNT ticket. Is it yours? Nope. Mini Mel, is it yours? Nope. How about the flowing dress? Is it yours? Nope. So he gives me all three items. The important things there, the important thing is the flowing dress, but getting the TNT ticket is kind of nice too.
Oh, I appreciate every turn. That's fine. We got a few last minute donations, so the total would have been a lot higher than what you were probably thinking of donating. And that's about it for the dungeon. This is the room you'll see later in the game when we farm liquid metal slimes. Lots and lots of levels. So this is Gotha, the home where I was actually born in. Daddy was the king, mommy was the queen. And this is Sancho. Sancho's a good guy. <laughs> Max Knight dragged off by the meetings. Yes, Hatman. Wait, what? <laughs> Faust is all of us. Sancho is a manly man. That's why he can cry all the time. So now that we're back and we're technically the prince of this place and my dad is dead, we should be the king. So let's go become the king. It's never that easy, please. Because we must go through the trials. <sighs> Uh, I don't know if Sancho was Don Quixote's squire. Well, it's the Rite of Passage trial, and we have to go through the Rite of Passage cave in order to, to complete it. Because the game is using puns. So this is Prince Albert, who's in a pickle. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, you're the son, you should be the king. Here, have the crown. And then the chancellor's like, you can't just do that. There's a there's a, a rite of passage thing that you have to do. That every king has to do. And then, okay, okay, we gotta go do it. And Bianca collapses again, because, you know, she's pregnant. And walking is hard when you're pregnant. Or you'll go to the Shadow Realm, Wild. Also, this room is the best, because remember, this is the room we saw at the beginning of the game where I was conceived. Where, uh, where I was born. This is Daddy and Mommy's bedroom. And, uh, well, the first thing we're going to do while we're inside Daddy and Mommy's bedroom after being back for the first time in 16 years is we're going to go over to the uh, to the to the closet here and take mom's lingerie the lacy bustier baby And this is where the Chancellor Jeeves tells us about going through the Rite of Passage trial. It's my mom's lingerie. She would have liked me having it. So I can pass it along to my daughter someday. Hehehehehe. <laughs> I don't know if Albert ever did the trial. They don't tell you that. It's a family heirloom. The little lacy thing passed along from family member to family member. First, we're going to do some shopping.
Okay, so we need to sell a bunch of stuff. Sell my leather shield. Um, let's see, you're gonna sell staff. Probably should have organized my items first. And sell mom's lingerie. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Let's see, you need to sell your iron shield. Iron claw. No, not the fire claw, not yet. Iron curious. I was gonna give it to my daughter, but she's not born yet, so I changed my mind. <laughs> she could buy it from the shop here when she needs it. Okay? <laughs> uh, I think I'm still just a little short on money. Chain whip. That should be enough, I think. Oh wait, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. So the boomerang. There we go. Should be fine on money now. So we want two Tempest Shields. Actually, I probably should clear my inventory before I do this, because things are going to get messed up. Organize items. Oh. Okay. Two Tempest Shields. Give them to you. And we're going to buy some packs of punch. She no longer can work at the at the pole at E Tavern, okay? E old tavern. Without the lacy thing. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Oops, I clicked off. And I need to fix this. Nope, that's not it. Da, da, da. Ah, come on. That one, there we go. And then this. I clickety clicky the chickety chickety the wrong thing, so I'm fixing it. Okay. EO brothel. Uh, I'm not really worried about farming uh, restless armors right now. Okay, because I want to get stronger first. Okay, so we need to give that to you. No, not the wedding veil. I know you'd look good in that saber, but or bomb ring, but you don't need that. Transfer this to Apple. Transfer this to you. Okay, transfer Apple. <laughs> hey, I'm a hero. I'm allowed to smash whatever pots I want, okay? You're not my dad. My dad's dead. You can't tell me what to do, dad. Yeah, that's what I thought, dad. Okay. I think that's everything set up how I want it. <laughs> Almost. Give me a second. Ah. Don't touch that. There we go. You're right, I'm not the hero. I'm a pretty lousy hero, what can I say? Or lack thereof hero. Ah, I didn't want to enter yet. I want to make sure... Wait, I think I have my right party set up. Line up. Slime Knight. Apple Saber, you... 
So this is kind of a puzzle dungeon, kind of, where you just got to do a handful of things that aren't very difficult. It's just hitboxes. Uh, I don't know. Specific class or specific monster? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, how about 20? Sound like a fair number? Obviously, you could go higher if you really want to, but... We'll just say that's a nice round number. Okay, so we got Tempest Shields now. Uh, I need to fix that. That's in a bad spot. Hey, Jim. Tempest Shields have a chance to expel away enemies. Uh, depending on who it is, has a better chance of uh, expelling them away. The Metal King is the Metal Slime Counter. And this is why we use shields most of the time right now, because, as you can see, I can't run from anything. Ugh. Unfortunately, a lot of those enemies are very hard to Tempest away. Shoot, I can't use any more. And that fight blew me up. Ugh, we keep getting horrible encounters. Wait, wait, wait. Later on, we'll get a couple more. Oops. Tempest shields, because we want to try to get out of encounters. As you can see, it's freaking... Nothing is working. Okay, so we'll give your... Transfer that to you. In the first slot, please. Wait. Oh, I gave that to the wrong person, duh. Transfer that to you for your iron armor. I was wondering why it didn't equip, and that's the reason why. Man, I can't wait to build all kinds of toilets and builders too. And by all kinds of toilets, I mean literally one toilet for every town. Because screw them, they can go to the bathroom. They can wait in line. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so we have a boss coming up that's a little bit luck reliant. Because one of the enemies can crit you anytime they feel like it. And that's no fun when they do that. <laughs> but coming up is Robin Hood and Hippoblockamus. Let's see. 
heal you up. And we want to actually give these people who can equip it. Because they are good shields. We just want it on the faster party members when we're trying to escape from combat. Um, there's no bosses, I think, that change your party ma or tactics, but the mini demons will. So yeah, this is Robin Hood and a Robin Hood and Hippoblockamus. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's put you first. Do, 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 do. We'll pack uh, you. Uh, yeah, it's Kandar. Nice defend on the first turn. Okay, so we want you to hopefully heal. Wait, did I do that for everyone? Tactics, you focus on healing. And we're gonna hope that uh, he doesn't go critting me. And I don't like that hit you did, so I'm gonna top you off. Keeps going after Apple. You can tell when he's going to crit, by the way. It's very easy to tell when he's going to crit me. But he doesn't have much health left now. Oh, he actually healed. And get wrecked. Yay, we did it. We can be the king now. Oh, I used up all my magic. Crap. Okay. I used up too much at the end there. Yeah, I decided to up King Slime a little bit because, you know, I should make you... Don't have enough to zoom. Should make you earn it. If you want the king. Time to go get become the king, y'all, and be a father. Like, heck yeah. Remember how I told you this is a depressing game? Nah, not anymore. We're gonna be the king, we're gonna be the father. Maybe I'll go make a sandwich soon, cause so I can be hungry, not be hungry. <laughs> you for the 80 bits. I will put the slime hat on shortly. Those are channel points that go to the total uh, forbidden donuts. Well, you can, that means you, you can only do two or uh, two thousand a day, so tomorrow you can do four thousand. Thank you, Vuvitz, for the twenty-five dollar donation. Dragon Quest Seven. I'd like you to attempt to beat the final boss with someone using the slime class. If you fail after two attempts, you can change the class to any basic character class of your choice. That's fine. We can beat the boss with a slime class, probably. Five, uh, final boss with a slime. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vuvitz. Much appreciated. Yeah, you can give 2,000 per stream. So if you gave 2,000 yesterday, you can give 4,000 today. 
You know what, y'all? This might be a quick, good, good uh, AFK point then, because there's a bit of story here that gives me time to munch on a sandwich while uh, while going through the story. <laughs> I'll beat it with a slime. Don't worry. <laughs> Cause keep in mind, the speed run beats the final boss with all mariners, anyways, which is a basic class. Um, it just uses sword dance to kill him. Uh, whatever you want, mutant. Whatever you think it's worth. I don't have numbers up for anything except for a few things. And you can see what the numbers are on the spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm gonna go take about three minutes, y'all, to, uh, to snag a quick sandwich and whatnot. And, uh, and use the restroom, and I'll be right back. And I might as well play a few ads, since I never play them. So I'm just gonna snag, a, like, a minute, minute or two of ads while I'm making the sandwich, and we'll be right back. And if you're a sub to my channel, you won't see the ads anyways. So, half of you are good anyways. Mmm. Okay. Hey, over 300,000 bit, uh, bits given to the first game already. <clears throat> okay, what did I miss? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Well, I appreciate the out, move it, in case I need it. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<laughs> hmm. Thank you, mutant, for the seven months of support. Wee! Just eating a couple bites of my sandwich, and then uh, I'll get right back to it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. <laughs> sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Ha 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 ha. Oh. This one is a hard salami and uh, Munster cheese. Um, like I said, I can add a console bid war to it. I haven't yet, but I can add it. Um, just a couple bites away from being done, y'all. And then we'll get back to playing the game. I guess I can press button through all these conversations. We got the ticking and the talking. Don't worry, sir. I'm sure you'll be a fine father with a very happy wife and children for the rest of your life. I feel like I've said that somewhere before. So we did get names for the son and daughter. Come on over, you can have it. I got enough left for three or four more people. So we have twins! Yay! I like, by the way, how she asks, did I do well? Hold on a second. You know, we were both in this together, so if you did well, I nailed it. Um, about 3,000 miles-ish, give or take. <laughs> so for the boy, we're going to call him Eris. And the girl will be, how many characters is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, that's enough. No, 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 well, Mad Hien, Mad Hien, ha, oops, excuse me. So normally they're called Perry and Mad Hien, um, which are basically boy and girl and in other languages. Basically, not necessarily. So we got beautiful twins, a wife. We're about to be coronated the king. Obviously, nothing could get ever be any better than what it is right now. But yeah, don't worry about it, Vuvitz. You want me to kill the final boss with a slime? 
I will take out Orga Demir with a slime. Now, I might have mixed the slime with some other classes, but the slime will take care of it. <laughs> the king! Woo! I mean, to be fair, I could be any class and still die twice to that boss. <laughs> GG, we won, y'all. Beat the game. Time to do kingly stuff like drink and party all night! Because that's what happens. And we end up drinking all day and all night. Singing and dancing and melliment. Just to wake up hungover in the middle of the night to creepy music. Which means nothing's going to happen, y'all. Don't worry. Oops. Nothing to worry about here. Remember, I'm the king. I have children. I have a wife. Like, mom's alive. Things are looking up in my life. You know, I can... I don't have to worry about anything bad ever happening to me anymore. I'm sure one of the guards, you know, will... If there's anything that happened, would take care of any disaster. Except for... My wife is missing. Kidnapped. <laughs> no! I'm going to do my taxes. How are you going to do your taxes? By taxing everyone else. Ha 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 ha. So this is literally the same thing that happened to me on the day I was born 20 years ago. Which, by the way, if you use context, we started Generation 2 being 16 years old in the slave mines. Ever since that time, everything we've done up to now has taken four years. Also, the Chancellor has gone missing. Not, you know, not that that's suspicious or anything. So we're going to go searching for the queen. By ourselves, of course. And, you know, not to foreshadow anything, but we're totally not going to hand the Zenithian sword over to Sancho to watch it for us. Bianca won the waifu war. So we're going to go over here and we're going to grab a shout out to uh, Dragon Warrior 4, Teleria Boots. Teleria shoes, which are AKA the flying shoes. Do they go into my inventory? Yeah, they do. There has not been a puff puff, no. So we come up here to the nightmare tower. Why is it called the nightmare tower? Because everything else is a nightmare, right? <laughs> 
And oh no, we've been attacked by Kilion. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Wait, he used an herb? Since when has the Helion ever used an herb? This is kind of a puzzleless tower. I forgot, is there a TNT ticket here? Nah, yeah, mini metal. It was either a mini metal or a TNT ticket. Oh, and that was an unexpected. I couldn't remember the unexpected, though. Cause snooze. And it hits almost everyone. Tomato, tomato. By the way, we don't have to fight those guys. We can just kind of leave. Oh boy. Let's see if I remember how to get through this room. That's not the way to get through it. I want to go this way. Oh wait, I need to get the bracelet, don't I? Which one is it? There it is. Uh... I need to go get that bracer, but I went the wrong way first. These are really annoying, by the way, because you stick. There we go. This is a very important item. I must have that item. That kamikaze bracer. Oh, I'm going to do something stupid. Don't worry. You can sure as hell bet I'm going to do something stupid with it. Those Hippoblockamus are stopping me from running. <laughs> They're blocking me from running. I'm going to go this way first. Try to save some health. So there's a neat little trick here we do in the speed run to avoid a random encounter. And that's to push this rock. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go around pushing down all these rocks. And blocking the, the, the path. So you don't get uh, burnt up when you come over here. I don't know why I'm collecting mini metals by the way. Especially since I'm not even collecting them all. Um, but there's a little trick you can do with the rock bomb to avoid a random encounter there. Uh, let's see, I need to make sure I don't take too much damage here. I didn't need to really heal there. But yeah, there's only one random encounter we take in this entire dungeon. Because we got the forced Hellion fight, and then we got the, uh... Wait, we don't do that right and then we got the uh, the rock bomb that we fight to avoid another random encounter. Because the rock bomb won't do anything to you. You just fight it and then like... It'll uh, it'll just do nothing and then you kill it. <laughs> it's a very safe fight. I don't know if I should open these chests because I feel like one of them is a mimic. I'm pretty sure that one of them is a mimic. But you know what? We're being adventurous today. And I bought extra herbs for the hell of it. More mini metals. There's a mimic. That's why we don't play with Mimics, y'all.
Please don't drain all my magic before I kill you. Rip. Because they're guaranteed to thwack you every time when they cast it. Well, rip all my money, by the way. Oops, shoot. I forgot that this game doesn't auto you back to memories which one you did. Yep, it was defeat. Brings back one of my favorite jokes of Dragon Quest. Why doesn't the cannon box do the hustle? Because it doesn't have defeat for it. <laughs> hey, don't look at me. That's a Dragon Quest 7 joke. Okay? What, you mean... I know, Hurt and Heal was such a great spell names. They got right to the point. I w I gotta ask Mooney when he can when he can fix the bot so I can get my one liners and quick jokes back. Bone Rider was the other best joke, yeah. Because Mooney updated the bot, but he never updated everything yet to it, and he's been kind of busy working. So I should see when he's going to be able to, uh... When he's going to be able to update it and, uh... Make it so we can add the one-timers and, uh, quick jokes back to it. That's the best part about fighting God, by the way, in Dragon Quest VII. Dragon Warrior VII is one of his attacks that he does all the time is quick joke. So you literally have God telling you jokes. Hey, Fire Prince. Oh no, customize. Customize, mix and match. Be creative if you want to. Most, you know, the, you'll notice some of the stuff people have given are just their creations. What they came up with. That's the whole point of Conquest, is I want you to be creative. If you got a good idea, then, then drop it on me. Okay, so we got some really annoying bosses coming up. By the way, here's the uh, Chancellor. He kind of got killed. That's what you get for betraying. Uh, I should probably use your mid heals first. Uh, so we got some pretty tricky bosses coming up. Um, so we're going to do a safety save here. It's better than what Fantasy Star does for their spell names. Where they just literally pick letters, Scrabble letters, out of a Scrabble bag. And whatever comes up is the spell that you're using. Because I love the fire spell Foy. That's a good one. Is my game loading? I 
I don't think my game loaded. And Watt, don't forget, Hound costs Watt. Uh, console? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it took me a bit to power this thing down. The only spell that you can actually uh, make any sense out of is a rose. R O A R O S, which is basically wakes you up from sleeping. Because, you know, you arise. Okay, took a little effort to get this working, but we got it. So first we got to fight the pawns, because you can't fight, you know, the knights without the pawns. Uh, so let's see, let's do slime apple. Oh, I'm still cursed, crap. Oh, I got the permanent curse, crap. Okay, well this sucks. Packs of apple, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a way to remove the curse, I believe. Okay, tactics, you focus on healing. Ooh, turn order, please. Uh, two ways. You can go to a church or you can have the spell to remove it. Pretty sure I don't have the spell yet. So this pawn is easy, by the way. It's the next pawn that's problematic, because he, he does breath attacks and he can do two attacks in a round. Uh, yeah, I don't have the ability to remove curses right now. There's a PlayStation, or a Fantasy Star 2 and 4 rando. <coughs> I probably should have made sure I had herbs on apple. Or tomato. Okay, tactics, follow orders... Paxa you, Sap, Paxa yourself. So we want to see one attack if possible. Not double attacks, but you can see this hurts and I'm already in bad shape. And I don't have any herbs on you, so you can't do anything. Wow. Okay, we only got singles. But still not in good shape. Okay, good. Did a single again. Oh, he healed himself! Crap! I was really hoping he wouldn't heal himself. Physical. Ah! Well, we almost survived without anyone dying. Actually, we still might be in trouble because my best attacker is dead. Sizz is the spell we want to see, by the way. <laughs> this fight can suck so badly. Oh no, don't mid-heal. I'm still trying to recover. Oh great, you're out of magic now. Ah! Wow, this pawn is destroying me. Uh, okay. That pawn freaking annihilated me. I told you that's a hard fight. Well, we can save and reset if we need to, but we're not gonna bother yet. Wait, where's my other leaf? I have another leaf. Who has it? <coughs> you could have killed Apple for me to remove the curse at least. Ugh, coughing like crazy now. 
Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Okay, good. We didn't break that. <sighs> okay, now we got the actual really hard fight now. Although sometimes that freaking Chimera Pawn is stronger than, than the boss. <coughs> okay, so this boss coming up. Con the Knight. He starts off the fight impenetrable to damage for one to five rounds. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta talk to you, duh. There's my wife. So we just basically got to survive until the shield comes off. Enough horsing around. <laughs> okay, so I need you to... You'll defend, how about that? Pax it yourself. Pax it yourself. Uh... Right now we're at the mercy of his shield falling down. There we go. Okay, tactics, you, focus on healing, sap, attack. Because swoosh is something we don't want to see, because that hurts. And I didn't get my heal off. Good job, game. It sucks that Saber Balmerin keeps dying because he's my best damage dealer. Oh, great. There goes my healer now, too. What the hell? This is cursed. This is a lot of Kaswoosh. He only has 1,400 health, so he doesn't have too much left. There we go. Oh well. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> Had to burn all my uh, leaves and everything, but we made it. Now we get 10 minutes of cutscenes, y'all. This is the middle of the game break. <laughs> well, it's more than middle of the way through the game, but... This is where the game decides to give you a nice breather and just let you mash through text for a long, long time. See, we kill the knight, but then Bishop Laja appears. And uh, he decides that he's not done toying with you. And uh, turns you to stone. <laughs> so now we spend, what is it, the next eight years of our life as a statue? Yeah, this game is really depressing. 
Yeah, let's not have any more cell phone ports, by the way. Get ported over to the Switch. Would appreciate that, y'all. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Would appreciate the y'all. Uh, can you stop? Yeah, not, no. Uh, give me a second. need to there's some things that I didn't really do that I sh probably should there we go uh, our poor baby boy and baby girl are gonna grow up without parents just like me <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, we get sold off to an auction. Well, I do. The Bianca, the guy's like, I got my own plans for her. <laughs> I don't want to know what those plans are. But, he has plans. I could care. <laughs> Mr. Gorgy, Georgie Porgy. By the way, this location actually exists in the game. This uh are this auction arena. I don't think you can do anything there, but you can fly and get there. And you can kind of check it out, but it doesn't have anything on it. <laughs> Next up, this chest. <laughs> Ooh, it's a fancy chest. Maybe that's why the place is empty when you go and visit there. Yep, this uh, Georgie's house here is Mr. Porgy. Well, Georgie is the name of the sun, because you get to watch the sun grow up and everything. Look at him, isn't he adorable? Aww. This is what it's like to have children grow up before your eyes. I'm almost like I'm blessed to have my own child. <clears throat> he has the Gerber patch too. Look at that, you know that piece of hair that's right in the front? The Ger the, that babies have, the, the call it Gerber patch. We're the good luck statue, by the way. 
Oh, now he's running around in circles around us. Making me dizzy if I could turn my head. Yeah, but the birds really like standing on us. And then, well, so what happens while we're kind of sta stoned is the evil Laja has determined that our son was going to be the, uh, the actual legendary hero. So he's going around kidnapping all of the kids who are around the age of my son. Including little Mr. Georgie, you know. Because remember, this was a lucky statue. <laughs> and so the world is starting to be overrun by monsters. And, uh... There's not us here to save it. Yes, you can. He's in his house that's right here. You just have to fly to the island or whatever. I think it's an island. Ow, ow, ow. Stop kicking me. Puddin, by the way, is the name of the uh, servant. And now we just spend the rest of our stoned life laying on the ground, chilling. Not even any more text to mash. It's a nice break. <sighs> I'm used to being kicked while I'm down. It is very depressing, and it doesn't get any better, Mara. Well, we were the lucky statue, and we failed to be the lucky statue. Fire Prince, thank you for the $10 donation. I'd like you to see the play the D, uh, DQ8 PS2 version using starter weapons. You can upgrade starter weapons if you find it impossible to advance game. Well, the Dracovian Trials I'm going to do anyways. Don't worry about that. <sighs> That's a lot. Holy crap. Uh... Let's see. Do, 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 do. How about we do use, use starter weapons as long as possible. Oh yeah, I gotta put the King Slime hat on for, uh, for Suki. So now I gotta put it on for an hour. Uh, how much money do you have, Suki? <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta put this on for Suki too. So now I gotta wear it for an hour. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I'm the I'm the youngest looking uh, 20 year old ever, or 28 year old. Thank you, Fire Prince. Much appreciated. So this is our children, all grown up. They find me and turn me uh, back to normal.
I love how Mr. Porgy is just sitting there like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> I'm Ha Chama. You're the one who gave me my name, right? Yeah. Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have done a complete game, including Dragovian Trials, um, with, uh, with fisticuffs, so. Starter weapons, at least I can do something with them. <laughs> like Metal Slash. <laughs> Yes, the kids are eight, because I believe you're a stone statue for eight years. But I do appreciate it, Fire Prince. So we're going to finally be reunited with, well, at least our kids. And we're going to find out from uh, our Uncle Albert that he found where my mom was born. And we're going to go try there. Yeah, I was, last conquest, I was forced to do Dragovian Trials, fisticuffs only. <laughs> Madalena's like it. Woo, woo. I love the kids, by the way. They're like, take us with you. Sancho told us we were your age when you started traveling, so you can't say no to us. It's like, damn it, they're smarter than me already. <laughs> yeah, it still gives me... Well, no, we're talking Dragon Quest VIII, Breach, not Dragon Quest XI. So they show you on the map where it is. Look at that beautiful map. We're not going to really go off to the sides and do extra stuffs yet until, uh... Oh yeah, I gotta go outside, upstairs. Until, uh... We get the, uh, the ability to fly. Why did I zoom to here? I wanted to go to Fortuna. Oh yeah, it'll still be a annoying as heck. Now, I guess you need to clarify one thing, though. Am I forced to always have the starter weapons equipped, or am I just not allowed to buy better weapons? Because there's a big difference between both of those things. Uh, let's see. Tempest to you. Zenithian shield to you. Uh, let's see, you need to give your Tempest to you. <laughs> the family, well, I'm already gonna do the family finish because once Bianca got voted in, she has to come to my final party. That was part of the deal um, with me doing the, the, the uh, the bid war. But no, but the question is, am I forced to equip, keep the uh, starting gear equipped the entire time? Or am I just not allowed to take change weapons? Which means I can unequip the starter weapons and uh, if I want to. As long as I don't upgrade my weapons. See, there's a big distinction between being forced to always have them equipped or being able to take them off and make utilize other skills. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now that's a totally different beast. Because if I can unequip starter weapons, I would be use fisticuff abilities in a lot of areas. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we want you, you. Basically, we just want to try to tempest away everything that we can in here. That's why I was asking you. Because I can make use of fisticuffs in some areas. Oh, yes, I can. Those uh, necromancers are hard to tempest away. So I generally... They don't do a lot of damage to you anyway. So I generally just try to get rid of everything else. And then just try to run away from them. Because if people give me directions, and uh, I can find loopholes around their directions, you can sure as hell bet I'm going to find loopholes. <laughs> so yeah, we got to go through this waterway, and it's a pretty high... Uh, Probably high encounter rate dungeon. Ah, we didn't get rid of the blizzy body. That sucks, because that guy hurts. As you can see, holy crap. Thank you. That guy should be easy to expel. Well, keeping Eric in the main party is not a terrible thing, actually. <laughs> uh, wow, what's up with my turn orders here? Ah, I didn't blizzy get rid of the blizzy body. <laughs> you know what's funny, McGrew, is Eric is the highest DPS in the entire game at the end game. No one ever uses Eric in a casual playthrough, but he actually has the highest damage output. Yes, I'll be doing Act 3. And yes, I will be beating the Time Worm. Uh, I'm doing the NES version, which is no... Uh, I think I'm doing the NES version, right? Yeah, I'm doing the NES version, which there's no Chapter 6. The last conquest, I did the DS version. Oh, thank you, Reg... <laughs> he was waiting for someone to do that. Thank you, Red Jack, for the $30 donation. DW3 with only three active party members at a time. The whole run. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Uh, Tempest Shield? Nope, didn't get them all. Wow, that sucked. Okay, uh, we're not quite done with this dungeon yet, so... That was a nasty encounter to see that happening. I still have like two more encounters I gotta survive. These are not the, uh, oops, let me get rid of the children. These are not the fastest characters. Oh, and uh, Gudiain uh, still said I'm focused on healing. Uh, that was disgusting. Okay. 
Man, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna run out of money. If I gotta keep reviving everyone, I'm gonna have to find a way to grind extra money. Okay, let me add this donation. Dragon Warrior three. Two, 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 30. Only three active party members allowed. Oops. I keep clicking buttons that I shouldn't be clicking. There we go. Do, 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 thank you once again. Although I, well, yeah, I probably could have got away without reviving them right now, actually. Okay, so we came here because this is the place where my mom was born. And, uh, oh yeah, my mom was kind of important. I hate this woman. She, uh, she had the ability to open up the door to the, the world of darkness, which is why she was kidnapped. And, uh... Now we're gonna go pick up a magic key and... Not here. What, did I not turn this? Oops. No, we didn't marry Deborah. And we're gonna pick up a magic carpet, which will allow us to get to the Zenithian Tower. Do, oop, magic, you, zoom, to Nick Knackery. Nick Knackery, patty wacky, give a dog a bone. Okay, baby girl. Oops. Baby girl. Baby girl. Thank you. Nope, we didn't marry Deborah. Yeah, not everyone can donate, which is fine. Which is fine. Wait, where the heck am I going? Get myself lost. There's too many dang freaking Zenithian towers. Speaking of uh, Deborah, there's her best weapon, or one of her better weapons. It sells for a lot of money. <laughs> But the good news, y'all, is this is going to go on for a couple of months. And uh, if there's a game much later in it, and you want to change the rules on me, you're welcome to anytime. No, I'm not doing a freaking wheeze every time I pick up an item. <laughs> Although I do check my stream alert labs to, to see if someone did subscribe to me when that happens. It all depends on when Builders 2 comes up. I mean, I can see you guys, by the way, having a lot of fun with something like Builders 2 because you could say, force me to, I don't know, make a something. Like if you wanted to be creative, like you could tell, hey, I want you to create a slime house, you know? Or I want you to create, um, I don't know, a rocket ship or something, you know, or, and I have to try to come up with, with my terrible creation, creative skills, try to basically draw the picture that you guys want. Like I could see builders too, having something really fun with that. It could basically turn into a giant three week long, um, like draw a picture, picture game of Pictionary. 
Well, you can't say faithfully because I can't draw. I don't have any artistic ability. So I would make it to the best of my ability. <laughs> okay, so we grab the uh, magma staff, which allows us to get through the or I'll go into the diggery pokery because we came up to the top up here, and you'll notice the Zenithian tower is kind of missing. It's because it kind of crashed into the water. And now we need this magma staff to go get it. Yes, it was, Discoville. But yeah, like, Dragon Quest Builders too. you could have some real fun with that for donations. Like, that's one of those games that you just, yeah. Okay, this is a really long minecart dungeon. And hopefully we're not going to get any random encounters. But some of that is luck related. And some of that is my movement. And I haven't done this very much lately, so... Like, I didn't actually need to ride that cart there. <laughs> Get in there. Uh, I'm gonna try to beat Nocturnus without a donation. The whole point of Conquest is for me to try to do as much of the uh, the games as I can and just let you guys change uh, things around or make things harder for me. Or force me to do some other things. I'm not asking people to donate to see, could see the any of the content. Just to see the extra stuff or make things harder. Or just change things up. You might even be able to make things easier for me. If you really wanted to. Wee a coaster. So here's everyone's favorite uh, Zenithian. Oh, I was too slow. Dr. Aegon. Well, Mara, we might have to go with... Uh, I don't know, highest donation maybe? If we have two conflicting? Dr. Aegon was trapped in that circle for 20 years and uh, we finally released him. Look at him, Dr. Aegon. I'm sure he's a licensed doctor. He looks like a credible doctor to me. Oh shoot, I went the wrong way. Oops. Uh, he's a Zenithian. Apparently they don't need to eat. Is there anything in here? Nah. Apparently Zenithians don't need to eat or drink for 20 years. I don't know. I want the Staff of Salvation. That's why I want to go this way. And I just reset the encounter is all I did. This is a very nice freaking item. It casts unlimited uses of basically heal more. 
I will abuse the hell out of that thing the rest of the game. Well, you could just let it go. <laughs> but if you don't eat, you don't really do that, though. That's kind of a byproduct of eating. <laughs> and then we leave to reset into the encounter again. He's a doctor. He knows what he's doing, y'all. Don't worry about him. Chugga 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 No encounters, yay! <laughs> well, send me some donuts! Don't you hog them all on me, Flam! crash inside the Zenithian castle and somehow we can able to breathe while we're down here I don't know how but we are so we come down here and uh... oh yeah dr. Egan by the way is basically Ned Flanders And we're going to find out why this castle crashed. Because Dr. Aegon is very talented. He can, uh, he can see things. I love, by the way... I know, Mage. Totally unexpected. I love how, like, this this place crashed because the gold orb isn't on the pedestal anymore. It fell through that hole. But someone had enough time to put up a, like, a fence around that hole to make sure no one fell down it, even though, like, the castle was crashing. So we get a little flashback, some painful memories. Yeah, he's Ned Flanders. Diddly. Diddly diddly, Ned Flanders. There is an English translation patch, Twiggy.
So this takes us as a nice flashback to uh, when we picked up the gold orb in the castle. You know, things like that. There you go. Ah, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to... There we go. And then we get to see Daddy die again. But how does Daddy die again? Obviously. A comically oversized fireball of death to the face. <laughs> so we just saw that the orb that got destroyed much earlier in the game was actually the gold orb that was making the Zenithian castle fly. So now we got to try to find a way to get another gold orb, which... Dr. Aegon is going to suggest we go talk to the fairies. But we're going to kind of set up a few things here before we do that. So first we're going to head to Monstro Ferrato, which is where you got to go anyways. And we're going to go talk to uh, Mr. Briscoletti. Mr. Briscoletti is going to tell us uh, about an upcoming dangerous enemy. Well, we're not going to do Bjorn yet, and Bjorn is not a side quest. He is required for the final key. But we're just setting it up now since we're here. We're going to get everything set up, but not to fight Bjorn, because at my levels, Bjorn would freaking slaughter me. He's going to tell us to go to an island and check a pot and see what color it is. And he says if it's red, don't. Uh, ooh, we're in trouble. Flying carpet, here we go, around, around. Now, you normally have to come here earlier in the game if you marry Nera or Debra. He forces you to come here to see if the pot is still blue before he lets you leave, but... As you can see, it is now red. The little kitty pot. And uh, that's bad news, but we don't want to deal with that bad news right now. Because I can't handle that bad news right now. Instead, we're going to go find the fairy portal. That takes us to uh, the fairyland. Do, 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 go into the Neverglade. And there's another reason we want to go to the Fairyland too, by the way. Because there's something else in the Fairyland. 
something else that we must do. This is kind of a maze-like area, but there's not a very big maze. Like, there's only a few exits that you can really go through. So you can get the, uh, like that was the exit right there. Well, we could stop and pick this up. And then there's an imaginary fairy right there. You gotta remember that only kids can talk to fairies. So, uh, this fairy's gonna be like, oh, you're sweet. I'll take you there. So we're gonna come here, but we need to do another thing while we're here too. We can't just go talk to the fairy queen. Super Saiyan with the sword. We're gonna head ourselves up this way. Some things about this area has changed since the last time we've been here. Yep, Bianca Mama. Hey, RBW. So we're going to go ahead and do a save here. Well, it wasn't up to me, it was up to other people. If I had my way, it would have been Nera. Okay, so we have our next TNT board. Twenty three rolls we got this time. Oh, shoot, I got the wrong party member. <laughs> I forgot to, uh, Swap in the uh, someone else other than than baby girl. She's only level five, okay. She's not ready for this stuff. She's still too young. Oh, uh, let's see. Line up. By the way, how many tickets do I have on me? I have three right now. Cool. And I can get more tickets if I want to, so I don't have to reset if the first one fails. Because these boards will get more and more elaborate. As you can see, this one already goes down another level and has 23 rolls on it. Of the dice. Nice one to start. One, two, three, uh oh. What do we get? He who questions if his glass is half full or half empty should first check he's got a glass at all. Lose 30 gold coins. That was an expensive glass. Nope, nothing sadly. Two, three, four, five. 
Three extra rolls of the dice, baby. Ha, I got all my gold back. Who's laughing now? Uh oh, where's this gonna take me? Uh, crap, that took me back. A little bit. I got a ticket! So I got my TNT ticket back no matter what. Oh, there's half my magic. I lose 16 MP. Oh, three more rolls of the dice! <laughs> oh! Go back three spaces to a fight. Uh. Dang it. Not the best rolls. Should probably stop that in case I wanted to heal, but... Now I don't have to heal anyways, because I'm out of magic. Rip. Two, three, four, five. Item shop. Anything new here? Or is it the same shop? Uh, you could buy a fairy foil, <laughs> which I just picked up. Oh shoot! Where do I go? Two extra spins or a chest? I'm gonna go this way. Probably should consult Manuel. I know that takes me up there to a portal, which probably takes me down somewhere. But I still... Okay, yeah, so we got two portals. Two, three, four. Don't search the ground. One to get another fight. right to the portal takes us down here consult a map we need to get to where is the exit there it is so either way ooh metal slime encounter there is an in that way you could try to get although the bottom way is faster Five hundred gold to get past it? Yuck. Yuck. Oh, that sucks. The stupid ones. Ah, stop rolling ones! At least I'm getting all my TNT tickets back. No, not more money! Chest is empty. One, two, uh oh. I got sent to the inn. Oh, that's a little bit out of the way, by the way. Man, I'm losing all my money. That's not good. I healed up, but. No, I landed on another minus one. Uh, come on, give me... Well, one doesn't help me out a whole lot here. Four. Five. I have to go this way. I only got four rolls left. 
Oh, baby, we got it! Yes! One, two, we need what? One, two, three. Bazinga! <laughs> First try! What do we get? We got... Ooh, a happy hat! Nice! Another happy hat! And we got a miracle sword! Damn! Hot diggity damn, y'all! And we're gonna give this hat of happiness to you for now. Although usually I can pick up another hat of happiness. That is some good reward. And I picked up a couple of hats, or uh, tickets. Oh, there's another ticket too. Just stock it up on TNT tickets so I don't have to... Um... Worry about running out of tickets. Yeah, but I didn't marry a Briscoe Eddie, so that's not happening. No, I'm not doing uh, the knickknack. Oh, crap. It took me all the way back here. Well, that sucks. That's not where I wanted to go. I thought it was going to take me back to Fairylay, but I forgot to enter actually enter the town first. No, I'm not doing all the knickknacks. Any game can be finished. If you didn't, that's on you. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you're talking to Zunzir. You know, like I said, 9 isn't necessarily my favorite game of the series either. But everyone has their favorites and their and their uh and the ones that aren't, you know. There's no point in arguing over people's likes and dislikes for games, because even I'll tell you 9 isn't my favorite game. <laughs> you know, we all we all have our likes and our dislikes. Well, who knows? Maybe that'll be the next game that I roll after this one, Fire Prince. So we come here, and the uh, fairy treacle here tells us that we have to go to the Fairy Queen in order to uh, actually uh, get the re way or to get another gold orb. The, the word where nine doesn't hit for me is the fact that it's you create your three party members. Which might be the other reason why three is not in my upper half of favorite games. Just because I, I like to have fleshed out story characters, not create my own. But three I like overall better than nine by, by a lot. I just didn't like some of the stuff that they did in nine, that's all. And the post game of nine like irritates the hell out of me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I do like a lot of what they did with nine. But you know, if if we're you know like the here's the thing, here's why nine doesn't resonate perfectly with me, and I can tell you why very easily. 
Because I didn't play 9 when the servers were open. So I never actually experienced the game being able to play with others. Let's not fight though, y'all. Let's play nice. So, Triacle or the queen there gives me this fake gold bauble. And we're going to take it to this painting here. And we're going to use it. And then we're going to talk to the painting. And it's going to send us back in time. Game Genie codes. I don't have a Game Genie anymore. I don't think those work. Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII sucks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so we come back in time. So why do we come back in time? I do have an EverDrive, yeah. And we talk to our younger self. Never Nocturne. And we basically steal the gold orb from our younger self. We're a bunch of thieving jerks, y'all. You can put Game Genie codes in the EverDrive? I might have to look into that, McGrew, and I'll get back to you. So yeah, we basically steal the gold orb from ourselves. So the one Laja destroys is just a fake bauble. Wait, I gotta go downstairs first. My game's better than your game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now it's time for us to get ready to do some grinding. Because we need some levels to progress. <laughs> no, your game sucks and mine doesn't. And that's the that's the end of the story. <laughs> okay, so organize oops. Items all. Yeah, I know it sucks, but you all keep paying for it, so what the hell am I supposed to do? So now we're gonna sell a whole bunch of stuff. So, iron armor. Uh, sell your staff of Anna magic. Your robe of serenity. Your morning star. Your steel fangs, fire claw, flowing dress. That is true, Heaven. Slime knight, sell that. We need to sell magic shield. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. What else are we selling? We are selling a diamond achilles. We are selling not the princess robe, ledger mantle. Uh, forty thousand. Is that enough? It might be enough. If not, we'll see. Okay, so I need uh, two poison needles. I'm 
I might... No, I think I have enough money. Yeah. It's probably deceiving you, Stormy, because there's no way I would play that game. Oh, shoot. Do I even need to buy a Dragon's Bane? I think I will just to have for later, because I might use it. I don't know. And uh, Iona Spear for the bag. I think I'm going to be short on money and I might just sell the, uh... The, uh, Dragon's Bane that I got. I'm sorry, I'm a liar. What can I do? I'm a jerk. I'm a loser, baby! So why don't you kill me? No, don't worry, I probably will die anyways. Don't worry, I'll die anyways, I promise. I'll get my butt kicked. Exactly, Zunzir. I'm just a jerk. What can I say? Pretty sure I'm really short on money right now. Okay, y'all, it's time to dump some party members that we don't want anymore. Actually, I gotta clear stings first, because I messed up my menu. Or I changed my menu around some. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Okay, so drop off Bomberin. Drop off Brownie. Drop off Slime Knight. Talk to the beautiful Patty here. The Bunny Girl! And we're gonna add in Sancho. I have a feeling I'm really short on money. And I might need to figure out what I didn't sell. Oh, I never f sold the st lightning staff yet, did I? Did I ever sell the lightning staff? No. Because that's worth 10000 I'm giving him a break. I'm helping him out, okay? <laughs> Buy dragon mail for you. Buy two Tempest Shields. I think I'm still just short for to get some packs of punch also. Well, you know, I gotta feed the stupid starving servants. Uh, yeah, I need a little bit of money. All they do is whine, complain, cry, moan. I mean, gotta make them happy somehow, right? Uh, do I have enough or am I just selling? I don't have anything good left to sell, so I think I'm just going to get rid of the Dragon's Bane. Since I have the Sword of Miracles. Buy a stack of packs of punch. Okay, uh... Do, 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 do. There they are. Seed on you. Maybe they are discounted. Five finger discounted. Arr. At least the inn forces you to stay for free.
Uh, hey, Wells. Hey, I see you return. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Oops. Seed of Life on you. Meteorite Arm Band Bracer to you for Poison Needle. Poison Needle to Baby Girl for Yggdrasil Leaf. Transfer that to Bag. Okay, so we have Iron Helmet to Sancho for the top hat. I know, we got rid of the top hat. What can I say? Uh, spiked armor for your shorts. Uh, let's see, Tempest Shield. Pot lid. Rip Donuts. Ionosphere to you for Sledgehammer. Uh, let's see, we have Princess Robe to Baby Girl. Okay, uh, Tempest. Oh, I got my full plate armor still. I was like, something seemed wrong. Because I was, didn't have where it was supposed to be. Equip that. Uh, equip that. I'm gonna transfer one to. Uh, you got a Tempest, you don't. Okay, so Tempest. Tempest in the first slot. Tempest in the first slot. And now, holy water. Uh, technically, we haven't saved him, but he gets saved eventually. Okay, time to farm liquid metal slimes. We want to kill six of them right now. been an hour so that gets a break for now I doubt it'll be long I'll have a break but <laughs> okay so pull out the monster munchies do the monster munchy mash and hope we get some liquids. Ooh. Okay, so I want Sancho Hero. Yeah. First strike, back attack. These guys are kind of hard to uh, tempest away, so. I'm not even gonna try to. So what I did is, I got two people with holy water. And uh, two people with poison needles. Poison needles have a one in eight chance of instantly popping a liquid metal slime. Which means it won't happen that often, but it still can. But yeah, you'll notice our son and daughter are still level 5. One liquid kill will get them up very nicely. But we need them to appear. Exactly. Also, 
Once we kill one, Apple, I think, is guaranteed to go first. What is up with these really weird encounters? So, Apple will get a chance to try to pop one before it acts. These things are nasty, by the way, because they change your party order. And if you're fighting a metals, liquid metals, they can change your party order and make it so you not actually try to kill them. Ew, this is like the worst encounter to see. Because they're not the easiest to temp away sometimes, and uh, they can do a lot of AoE damage. So even four shield didn't get them all. Hey, Paldios. Oh, not too bad. How you doing? Yeah. Where's our... I keep... I think you know what my problem is? There we go. My muscle memory keeps having me use the one in the wrong spot. What's the run rules? I need to recruit two party members before I'm done. Well, the second one is we're going to try our damnedest to recruit it, but there's no guarantee I'm going to recruit it. Oh, there's no drinking game. I'm not drinking if they run away. Although I probably could, considering there's less than a, two hours left in stream. Hey, oh, this fight sucks. Uh. Oh, didn't get the instant kill, and it ran. Oh, I don't know the percentage run chances. Good, they didn't do anything, but... I'm not guaranteed to kill this. There we go. Instant kill for the win. There's one. Okay, we're going to gain a lot of levels here, by the way. <laughs> Both uh, Eris and... Uh, and my baby girl, Ha Chama, are going to gain like six levels each. Oh yeah, I enjoyed the uh, Joker's games. Not as much as I enjoyed Terry's Wonderland. Speaking of it, after day two or in day two, we're already 64% of the way to Joker 3. No idea what you just said, Reiwa. Reiwa. Caravan Heart was adorable when I played it. I played it once four years ago, so I don't remember really anything about it. So yeah, we gained a ton of levels there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, another one. Come on, A, stick around. Good, A stuck around. But problem is both of them stuck around, so trying to kill them is going to be hard. Especially with demons 
changing my freaking party tactics. Plus, I gotta now do this because one of them actually used their attack. Okay, A stuck around, so there's a chance we're gonna get the kill there. Okay, one is dead. Fight wisely is terrible, by the way, because that screws things up big time. Oh, well, we got one. We had a chance for two there. I don't watch a lot of uh, virtual. I know a bunch of like Vocaloids, but that's about it. When I went back to college about eight years ago, I did a speech on Vocaloid. <laughs> I did an entire like three minute, I believe it was. Or no, it might have been up to five minutes. Five minute or so presentation on Vocaloids. Well, that could have gone better if I didn't get frickin' fizzled in the face for my baby girl who, uh... That was a waste of magic. And I couldn't use her poison needle to help out. Otherwise, I probably would have killed the second one, but I couldn't risk her dying. Oops. I've switched them around, so the turn the uh, button presses changes. Yeah, I've probably heard a lot of Miku videos throughout my life. <laughs> We've gotten two kills so far. Two kills still. And now we're going to take out our frustration. Instant kill on the burb. <laughs> take out our frustration on the burb. To be fair, the first couple of kills were very nice. They, they were generous. And I could have had a third kill if I just didn't get freaking... <sighs> Baby girl didn't get blasted in the face by the one attack that they do that actually does damage. Poor, poor Hakachama. Apple. Nope, didn't instant kill. There we go, there's an instant kill.
Tempest these ones away, give us the small chance that a liquid metal joins our party. <laughs> Gotta go over the two and two fifty six, huh? So that's three. That's half of the ones that I wanted to kill. No liquid metal joining. Uh, how you doing on Holy Water? That's your last one. Nice! Got another instant kill. I love the picture, by the way, of Hachama. Because if you look at Hachama, you got the cute little like binocular eyes. Oops. Ha, <laughs> Gemma. So I got Whistle now. So if I run out of Monster Bungees, I could just use that. Sheen, by the way, is the spell that removes curses. That I, uh, that I, when I was cursed earlier. I have no idea how it's being used. <laughs> no clue at all. I thought it's banned. Uh. Okay, we're whistling now. I'm gonna save the, uh, the other munchie. Um. For when I, uh, grind later. Don't do anything, Demonite. Good. Perfect. One more and we can move on. One more, we'll be able to get the uh, spells that we need on uh, Eris and Hachan. Hachama? I can't say that. Hachama. To do maybe the last one? Nope, not the last one. Oh, 
shoot. Okay, I need to heal up a little bit. There we go. Top, top of myself off, y'all. Leave my information alone. My measurements are my own life. But if y'all want to know my measurements, I'll give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone wants a slime hat. A king slime hat. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to escape it. I won't escape it for several days. Oh, baby, we got a two for a chance. Nice instant kill. Don't use magic, y'all. That made it so I didn't actually use holy water. Of course I'm going to try to go for one more kill. Nice! I got the double instant kill. Ooh, that's perfect, by the way, because now I can go for the uh, recruit. <laughs> for whatever reason, I want to go for the recruit. We got a bonus kill. Double, double, double kill. So insulate uh, is the big spell I needed from uh, from Eris. Ugh. And then from Ha Ch Ch Chama, I needed Cassette. Now we can go back to the Zenithian castle and do some progress. Let's go use the fast in real quick. Okay. Ah. Okay, so now we're going to you zoom to Zenithia. Ugh. And let's plop in the gold orb and get this bird a flying. know all about farming in two or in, in eight Now the liquid metal slimes in the newer routes are even worse because you got to kill a lot more of them.
Oakley Doakley do. So now we can fly this castle. And we need to fly it uh, in order to get to a certain part of the map. So we unlock the castle, but there's a problem. We still need to recover the Zenithian dragon's power. In order to do that, we need to go to this dragon tower over here. Uh, this way. In order to get the dragon's uh, power from the tower back. This is probably one of my least favorite dungeons in the game. The Power Hour Tower. Okay, so to do, 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 do organize items. Oh, thank you, Apple, for helping us out. Transfer that to you. Transfer that to you. Do, 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 do. Igdrisol do to you. Uh, where are they? Elfin Elixir. Fairy Foil. Seat, seat of Strength. You still have the fairy foil on you? Transfer that to the bag. Flip. Uh, let's see, transfer that to your first spot. Although I probably won't be used that as much. Uh, Tempest Shield, your first slot. You have the staff. Oops. No King Metal Slimes, thankfully. Oh, I pushed up, so I got a random encounter. Oh man, look at these high level enemies. Those might have been the very first enemies in the game that I fought. <laughs> so we need to climb to the top of this tower. Uh, get over there. And then repel in. Sancho's too fat to get in there. Come on. Come on. Ah, he won't go up. Thank you. So this dungeon is really kind of annoying. You gotta, you gotta go basically walk around it multiple times. And the enemies here aren't really fun to fight, and you can't tempest away half of them. <laughs> like the black dragon there, you just can't really tempest them away. So I set Hachama to just heal, and she'll basically spam the hell out of that uh, staff of, cell, of uh, salvation. Nice. No? Oh, 
Full heal yourself. Don't want to get rid of him? There we go. Finally got rid of that bugger. Yeah, I don't want to see metal dragons and black dragons you definitely don't want to see. Although metal dragons are interesting because of what they like to do. They have this tendency to keep stealing each other's magic. It's pretty hilarious. Nice crit. So if you get three metal dragons, they really just like stealing each other's magic and then sometimes attack you. Back attacked so many times this run. The only reason I didn't try to run is because I was trying to get a heal off. Uh, shoot. That's not the way I wanted to go. What's this? Money. Dang. I went the wrong way. I wanted to go up. Uh. Shout out to more money. Because why not? There's so many encounters in this dungeon too, and I keep getting black dragons every time. to the bottom. Oh, sorry. It wasn't metal dragons. It was these things. The silver baboons. That just love sitting there trying to steal magic from each other. Look at that. They just sit there. They love absorbing magic from each other. think and then we get a then we reach the bottom when I was a young thwart oh wait I thought this was Lion King my bad come on ah, I know get over there there we go there do that that opens up the exit here and I can just refresh the encounters So, in order to get to the end of this dungeon, we need to collect two dragon's eyes, which are behind two bosses. Come on! Stop with the back attacks! Ah! I'm getting destroyed by back attacks! Five is a great game. It's one of definitely one of my top few dragon quests. This is a fight where like I wish I had the Dragon Slayer.
Hi, Andy. Yeah. Friggin' getting destroyed by back attacks and ambushes. Oh, not too bad. Besides getting destroyed by back attacks and ambushes. Lucifer. Ooh, first try Lucifer. Well, no, failed runs is what I usually get. Not back attacked by every encounter. <laughs> That's different. And I've gotten black dragons in almost every single encounter. Okay, so we got the first boss coming up here. Our buddy. Slon the, 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 the rook. One of the two that killed daddy. This is not too hard of a fight. Oh, I got a bad luck encounter. Please run. Ah! I'm like half a step away from the trigger, by the way. Watch how close to the trigger I am. This guy just attacks once and hits hard. That's it. Okay, uh, let's get buff. So let's raise our defense. Oomph, Eris. I never put Paxes on my party. I knew my inventory seemed weird. I forgot to put Paxes in my party. Okay. Well, then I need to do this differently, because I didn't put Paxes, so. Uh, mid heal you. Oomph you. Mid heal you. Oomph you. Okay, now you can focus on healing. Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. Okay, so easy fight. Man, I burned a lot of magic on on Eris so far. Do, 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 do. Okay, so magic you. So you got the first one, evac out. Let me put Pax a Punch on my party. Because what's the point in buying it if I never use it, right? So we opened up the shortcut so we don't have to go through that tower again. Save a little bit of time. But the second fight is definitely the harder of the two fights in here. Much harder, as in he can kill me. I can't tempest away the two dragons, so it's either I fight them or try to run. 
Uh... Oh, I went the wrong direction. Crap. Well, now I've done it. I went the wrong direction. I was supposed to go left from the stairs. Hey, I've been explaining a lot of it in this run. For the most part. Man, I'm getting all these extra levels that I usually don't get. Make it to the stairs, make it to the stairs. Come on! Cut me some bread! Yeah, I know. I'm just teasing you. I'm teasing you. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good at talking a lot in a marathon. If it's one thing I'm good at is not shutting up. Uh, God dang it! Run away from something! Oh, please, no. No, no! Now I'm screwed, y'all. Now I am screwed. Hi, Metal Hero Regulus. Now I had to leave. Uh, that takes too long. The moment I died there, I had to leave. Because, uh... I can't revive two people right now. No, revive. Yep, they go to Coffins. Andy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Whee! And congrats to the lotto winners. Manzis and and Sancho got wrecked. Oh well, we have to go back and fight a couple more enemies. Uh not much you can do if you can't run away from encounters, right? <sighs> well, the good news is I don't have to uh, use up a prayer ring now. Got my magic back. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you zoom to Zenithia. Walk in off the clouds, clouds, clouds. Okay, line up, Sancho. Nope, let's try that again. Sancho, you. Yeah, they use coffins. Eight uses coffins, too. Yes, that is correct. The hero is your son. <laughs> oh no, the three metal dragons are back! And they're still not letting me run! Fine, then. At least if I do this, I'm healing a little bit. Ow! Stop! <laughs> Focus fire! Uh, no. I'm gonna be on the first game at least tomorrow, cause... I still have to capture at least two monsters before I can even finish. 
Not to mention, we still got Esther to deal with. Oh, there's no way I'm finishing until at least the end of tomorrow. Plus, we don't know what the next game is going to be. At the end of this stream, I will spin the wheel to determine what the next game is going to be. And then after that, I'll start doing raffles. Or at least for the third game will be a raffle. Oh yeah, it's random order. This is the first game of uh, Conquest. We got, we got a long ways to go. This is only game one of Conquest. Yep. Nice, I got to the stairs. Okay, now it's time for freaking Bishop. So Bishop Ladja is our next buddy. This guy can like one-shot Eris in one round if he wants. Although I'm a higher level than I usually am because I'm fighting a lot more than I and I got the extra kill. Oh, well, no, I'm gonna, I'm only going to stream about eight hours a day. Hey, I went to the one that got the most money. What can I say? Follow orders, kabuff, insulates. I really want to hit a Kasap on this guy. It can be hard sometimes to do it. But Kasap is huge difference in damage. There we go. To you. Focus on healing. Kabuff. Uh, I guess I will... No, not insulate. The buff once more. Paxo Sancho. Blistering Flame is the best thing to see. Double Kafrizzle is scary as hell. Please don't spam to Grizzles. I should put up Zenithian Shield. Holy crap, Grizzle. So I'm gonna put up Zenithian Shield, which will make it so he can't get targeted by spells, because if he does, he'll get reflected. And Ladd is smart enough to not reflect that. This guy has 3,800 health, so he takes a while to chip through it all. Ooh, turn order. Turn order. Okay. Good, healed the one I wanted you to heal. Oh man, pulled out the boom. The boom stick. There we go. Get the other draggy eye. The other draggy eye. You have grown somewhat stronger. Thanks, you've gotten somewhat weaker. Go figure. <laughs> mm. 
Dragon's Eye! What luck. So we're not quite done yet, because... Now we have to put the dragon's eyes in and get the dragon power, which requires me climbing a few floors of this dungeon. Which means there's plenty of random encounters still to come. No metal slimes will be running away, though. <laughs> Not in here, at least. Yeah. Although we are later on going to have to do another liquid grind for my uh, waifu. And no, not Sancho. But my wife. Because I did say I would take her to the final party, so... He doesn't defend when you fail to run. So we gotta drop the grappling hook here. So this is a really weird thing. You think it would be logical just to jump down the front here? You know, and land right on the platform and bam, we're done. Nice and easy. Yeah, the game doesn't let you do that. You have to fall all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> So you can climb back up to go through the, the dragon's mouth. One of these times we're going to have to try to go far start farming some restless armors also. Sancho is like... A big old beefy tank that takes a lot of damage no matter how much armor you give him. <laughs> oh shoot. Duh. I need to do this. This way is the fastest way to do it. So this is the dragon orb. And then we're going to go pick up a thing called a dragon staff, which is pretty cool. It turns into a dragon when you uh, when you use it. And then we're just going to go right into a boss. We're just going to go right to Monstro Ferrato and fight... Um, Bjorn. Bjorn is a fight, indeed. A big old boy. If you haven't seen him before, he is definitely interesting. He is also not a free win. So, Bjorn is an ancient evil beast that was sealed by Briscolati's ancestors 150 years ago. 
And he's about to break out of his seal and is not going to be happy that he got stuffed in that tiny jar. Now just wait until we do something like Terry's Wonderland and we capture a Bjorn. <laughs> and maybe even a mini Bjorn. <laughs> oh, the great thing about the Monsters game, especially like Joker and Terry's Wonderland and them, is they have all of the bosses from the previous games. Oh yeah, Terry's Wonderland is on uh, on Conquest, in Conquest. Hey, Pyramid. And when we play Terry's Wonderland, my goal before I finish is to make a metal star. Although that could take a while. <laughs> Archfield, thank you for 12 months of support. Whee! It could take a while for me to make a metal star, but that is my goal is to make a metal star. The best metal slime ever made. It's the Darth, it's the death star of metal slimes. By the way, this is Bjorn. You can see he's kind of big. Kind of grumpy that he was shoved in that tiny jar. Ah. Okay. Uh Oops, I better... So this fight is all about uh, keeping uh, debuffs on him and uh, counting the debuffs and whatnot. Ow. Paxi yourself. You're going to full heal yourself. Boom. You. Buff you. Belching flames is what we like to see. Okay. And we're gonna get the first Kasap up. He's gonna fire back. He has a lot of help. Health, health, health. So he's at minus two. Oh, he's back to zero. Yes, it's Bjorn the Behemoth. This is the worst thing that we could see. So he's at minus one right now. He's at plus one. Put him back at zero. Okay, he's at plus two. So at plus two, we use the Zenithian sword. Kasap. So that puts him at zero, minus one. He was Bjorn this way. Okay, he's at plus one. He's playing the buff game right now. Zero and minus one. Minus two. He was just Bjorn this way. I like it. Uh, full heal you. Staff you. He has 4,700 health, by the way. Like I said, this takes a while.
Man, he's getting tired of casting spells. He's just whacking me now. Back to zero. Well, it's the Zenithian Sword. The Zenithian Sword always does that. That's one of the features. No, it does the same thing. Once you power up the sword, in Dragon Quest IV, you can power up the sword at the Zenithian, Zenithian Dragon, and then uh, it does the same thing. Okay, good. That was a double attack. That would have killed Eris if he would have hit him again. Welcome back. Okay, he's back at zero. But he's close to dying. Okay, he's at plus two. Zero, minus one. I don't have much defense left. There we go. The Zenithian Shield is what casts Fen Sword, or Fen Spell, B Fox. So the sword is Wave of Ice, the shield is, is uh, Fen Spell, Bounce. Two de frude, a rude. To the fruity, a rude, yeah. So we take out Bjorn, we get the final key. Oops, uh, magic. Zoom to Coburg. Now we're gonna do a small side dungeon real quick to, uh, to pick up an item. I'm not gonna do all of the puzzles in the dungeon because this dungeon really freaking sucks to do all of the puzzles in. And it will rip out your hair. Like, it will make me go bald. So this dungeon is called the Mantle Place. It has a bunch of puzzles where you have to basically push blocks on top of uh, scary faces. Um, these faces right here. And you gotta push a block somewhere in a room or multiple blocks. And, uh... This is an insanely high encounter rate dungeon. So you basically get pelted by a hundred encounters trying to figure out um, how to do the puzzles. It's basically playing Beyond the Beyond. Uh huh. Man, you know, the beard is definitely something. And all you get is a useless piece of armor if you do all of the puzzles. This is not the fight that I wanted to see. Because I could die right here. I don't have to go very far, but... Like, this is where the hammer is, which we're going to get, but it's just... This place is a high level, and it's dangerous. Uh, so here's the thing about the beard, okay? Uh, it has to be gone in October, right? Because it's supposed to be gone at RPG Limit Break. But RPG Limit Break got cancelled again. Yeah, but the original rule was I get rid of it at RPG Limit Break. But RPG Limit Break got cancelled again! Shorenson, thank you for 22 months of support. Whee! So do I just say screw it and shave it in October? There we go, I'll set a high donation goal to save the beard. <laughs> a 
Okay, so now we got Zoom to Zenithia. Can you donate against the beer? I'm pretty certain no matter what, I'm gonna shave it in October. I have followed this. I even extended it, but I think it's time to get rid of it in uh, in October. Okay, y'all, this is time for the biggest shocker in the entire game. Oh, Venkun wants a King Slime, okay? You know, this, this, okay, this is gonna become a surprise to you all, okay? No, I'm gonna shave it, it's gone. Okay, so, Dr. Aegon, don't be shocked, you all, okay? Dr. Aegon is actually the Zenithian dragon. I know that completely came out of left field and you never saw that coming, but Dr. Aegon was actually a dragon. Can you believe it? Hehehehe. <laughs> Is there a Zenithian dragon in Karen Van Hart? I don't remember anything about that game. I honestly, I played it once four years ago and that's all I remember about it. Okay. <sighs> Time to see what happens. I don't know where the highest in, uh where the highest encounter rate of restless knight armored knights will be. So we're just going to see what happens. We'll see how they appear around hay. We need to recruit one of these buggers. Oh, nice. It's a 1 in 64. He just killed himself. Does that count as a recruit if he kills himself? Over 2. It's a 1 in 64, so... Over 3. Hey, the fact that we got like four in a row was kind of nice. Yeah, I should be high enough level that I'm guaranteed to run from enemies here, which is also kind of nice. Over five. Do, 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 do. Well, in theory, it should be done in 64, right? No, it doesn't matter who kills him, Abashi, as long as they're the last enemy killed. Actually, the, the webpage I have here tells me 
exactly how many kills is what percentage that I would actually have it. It says at 45 kills, I have a 50% chance of uh, having killed it. Here's six. Seven. Uh, just go to Game Facts, Dragon Quest V Game Facts, and there is a monster recruit uh, section, and it gives you a bunch of percentages and uh, and everything. It's actually a very good Game Facts for monster recruitment. Okay, my goal is to hopefully get this Restless Armor and do the next TNT board before we're done today, but we'll see if we get that far. That depends on when I can get the Restless Armor. And when I can beat the TNT board. Number eight. Number nine. Well, it does say, after uh, 191 battles, I have a 95% chance to have recruited him. So hopefully, if that happens, then I had really bad luck. <laughs> Actually, if I got 245 minutes, I probably would be shocked. with 10 11 Do 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 Passing it off to the next person. Just keep the chain going. Now the Barbados one is gonna be the really annoying one because I doubt I'm gonna be guaranteed to run from every encounter. Not to mention it's a much harder chance to uh to get. But we're going to give it our damnedest. But if it's taking literally forever to get... It'll be 2021 before I even finish this conquest. <laughs> I should do it before I fight Esther, just because it might be a good level grind. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's a level point where I'm a guarantee I actually run from those encounters though. Okay, number 12. Hey, I'm still gaining levels here.
Number 13. Yeah, even Dragon Conquest couldn't finish in 2020. <laughs> 14. Yep, it just means the next mystery game, I gotta put it much higher. Much, much higher. Not gonna make it that easy for the next mystery game. Okay, number 15. Nice crits. No! Okay. Still number 15. <laughs> Still 15. <laughs> Okay, got number 16. Number 17. <laughs> Y'all falling behind already on 17. <laughs> 18. <laughs> so many ruffians. Mmm, small fry. Ooh. Okay, number 19. At this point, I have a 25% chance to recruit one. Nope. At 19 kills, I, li I had a 25% chance to have recruited one. So we're up to 20. Oh, Air Fryer is amazing, Andy. That's 20. The Air Fryer is the most amazing thing that I have ever bought for my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could do healthy with the air fryer. Twenty one. Maybe? Okay, I had to make sure I killed that one. 21. <laughs> I need to get off the dark side. Yeah, the one shot downside to it is you can't do battered stuff. Like, you can't do batter, beer battered, or anything like that. Okay, 22, potentially. 
Depends on the stupid backup. Okay, 22. Oh yeah, I've done air fried pizzas. Like those uh, frozen uh, pizzas. Frozen barren pizzas or whatever. Oh yeah. I do that all the time. Put it in for eight minutes at, at 400 degrees. Okay. So this will be number 23. Hell, you could make cookies in there if you want to. Twenty four. Twenty five. Oh man, now I gotta try tacos. <laughs> now I gotta try tacos. Twenty-six. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Twenty-six. Hi, Royal. Yep, you came really late. <laughs> okay, twenty-seven. Exclamation point conquest. Twenty nine. I love how they just come in batches. Like, you get like five encounters in a row with them and then don't see any for a while. See what I mean? They come in like bunches like five in a row and then you don't see them for a while. <laughs> do 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 do.
I am starting to get hungry too. Getting inching its way closer to dinner. Ready to get some food in my belly. Ah, where'd all my knights go? Been stuck at 29 for a while. I don't know what's for dinner. I don't have a whole lot of things left. I gotta do some shopping again soon. I only got a couple of frozen dinners left, really. There we go, number 30. I have no idea what that is, Suga. I can make some breakfast. I got some eggs and hash browns and toast. Number 31. Come on over. Thirty-two. Thirty-three, maybe. Okay, thirty-three. Hey, I got the restless armor finally. It took 33 of them to get the drop, but that's not what I wanted. Okay, Suga. Thirty-four. I want to recruit him is what I want to do. 35. I'm trying to recruit the uh, the Restless Knight, not get their drop. Thirty-six. Yeah, Gospel Ring would just get harder depending on what I'm allowed to do. I'm whistling a lot. <laughs> I'm driving many dogs in the world crazy. Yeah, I'm only streaming about eight hours a day. Although some days it might be a little bit more, some days it might be a little bit less, who knows? Thirty-seven, potentially. Yeah, it'll be thirty-seven. Thank you for eight months of support. Whee! Thank you for the drive-by to our Amazon money. Hi, Meta. Someone donated for it, Meta, so... Do, 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 do. Here's 38. 
I got Kazing already. None. Because I go just bite right into it. Okay, 39. Grinding makes me hungry. Grinding makes me hungry. Grinding makes me hungry. Grinding makes me hungry. Yum 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 food food. Yum 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 something about food. I don't think we're going to get to the TNT board today. We've completed two of the five boards so far. Here's number 40. Oh, wait till we try to farm Barbados. This is nothing. Wait until we try to farm Barbados. Just for those who don't know, what I'm trying to recruit is a 1 in 64. So this is number 41. Hey, I got a second Restless Armor. That one was much faster. <laughs> that one was much faster than the uh, first one. No, there's no uh, boost. I wait a booster chances. Just a pure percentage. The only way to boost your chances is to not do it. <laughs> Because if you never try it, you never fail. <laughs> Imagine if Whistle cost magic. Okay, 43. Oops. So when we kill the 45th one, we would have had a 50% a chance of uh, capturing one at 45. Yeah, we are returned. So once you do 45, that means you should have had about a 50% chance by now of recruiting it. So here's 44. Forty-five. Coin flip failed. Forty-six. Breaking in all the cash. Forty-four. 
47. Yeah, someone donated for that. <laughs> forty eight incoming, maybe. Yeah, forty eight incoming. Hey, my third set of Restless Armor! Actually, I'm not gonna take any more uh, slime hats today, so I'll refund that for you, Pyramid. Because I'm not gonna wear it for 30 minutes, most likely. You know what? I'll wear it for 30 more minutes. Because that's about how long I'm gonna stream. So I'll do 30 minutes of slime hat up to the uh, end of the stream. Probably shouldn't have done what I did. Okay. 49. No, we haven't done her yet. Well, we've done her, but we haven't rescued her yet. 50. Nope, I'm just, whatever comes up. Whatever gets spun on the wheel or gets picked by people. Um, there's no or or set order to anything. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. What comes after fifty-two? Nothing this time. Well, we're not going to get a Metal Slime Knight because I'm not going to kill them last. And you can't recruit them anyways. I'm pretty sure you can't. Fifty-two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fifty-three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, that's the fourth set of Restless Armor we've gotten now. Hi, Axel. I don't know what the drop chance is. I'm going to guess 1 in 16. I don't know, does this... Does this one tell me? Higher than recruitment, that's for sure. 54. I think it's like 1 in 16. Yeah, this one doesn't tell me right there what the drop chances are. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. 
Hey, this is still going faster than I thought it was. I would. To get up to like 56 of them. Uh, 4, 5, and 6 DS are uh, pretty expensive. 4, I don't think, is as expensive. 4 NES, though, is really expensive. Fifty seven. Dang, one in 32? And I got four of them, but zero freaking uh, recruits? What the heck? Fifty-eight. No, this is the first game. Fifty-nine. Gaining levels like crazy. No, it's a donation incentive. Otherwise, I would never have recruited it. Number sixty. Letter sixty. Do, 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 do. Get it on sixty three. <laughs> uh, it will for game two. Game three will be chosen raffle after I finish this game. But after, at the end of the stream, I'm gonna roll a uh, wheel, spin the wheel for the second game, 62. And then when I finish this game, I will, uh, I will raffle off game three. Most of them are gonna be raffles and whatnot. The first couple were pulls, or were spin to the wheel, I should say. Sixty-three. Lucky sixty-four. No, no sixty-four.
Do 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 do. We can only hope, giggity. Now it's gonna be 68, it's gonna be the ultimate letdown. Build up all of that hype just to be let down one short. Sixty-five. <laughs> Came out premature. That's what they say about me. Sixty six. Didn't need to farm metal slimes earlier. We could have just done this. <laughs> Would have gained all kinds of levels. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Here comes the magical number. Besides forty-two. Sixty-nine. Nope. Just like usual, I I disappoint everyone. Not nice because I didn't get a recruit. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone in your there's 225 people watching. I promise you, none of them, <laughs> none of them are surprised by your disappointment. 70. Seventy-one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. No, is it just my luck, B Fox? <laughs> that's what it is. This is what happens when you try to recruit a one and one something that's a half percent chance of working. Seventy-two. Mm -hmm. 
all night long. Oh yeah. We can do it all night long. I love sitting in one place grinding forever. Brings me back to my days of farming World of Warcraft. We are trying to recruit a restless armor. Seventy-five. Thank you, Quest Giver, for the host. Oh wait, no, that was seventy-four. My bad. I don't know why I said seventy-five. This is seventy-five. Okay, seventy-five looks like a good stopping point for today. I forgot, does this place have a church? I don't think it does. Hmm. So we'll, we'll stop at 75 for today. Man, look at all that money I've started racking up. <laughs> so tomorrow we will uh, we will start off with continuing the restless armor grind, and then working on story. Uh. Ah. So let's go ahead and pause the timer right there for uh, where we are at. We're not quite done yet today because I need to spin the wheel to find out what day two will be. So 7, 59, 14. <sighs> okay, so let me bring up my wheel here. And we will give her a spin. It has most of the games on the wheel. There's just a couple that I kept off because I still haven't had time to test my Wii since, you know, I did something stupid to all my files. So... Oh, let's see. Wheel over here. Bam! There we go. Oops, I forgot to write something down just in case. I don't think I need to because I think it'll be fine, but... Okay, so most of the games left on there are on the list. What I will do is I will start clicking this wheel, and when someone tells me go, I will stop clicking it. So click, click, click. Someone tell me when to go, 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 go. And we end up with Dragon Quest Eleven already as the second game. So.
So game number two will be the next game on the list. <laughs> the vile dog spawn? We'll just go through all the mainland games first, and then we'll worry about the side stuff, right? <laughs> okay, y'all, that's going to be it for me today. Let's see if there's anyone going on right now that I can pawn you off to. Well, I could pawn you off to... To this bugger. He's in the middle of doing a uh, Final Fantasy X Dragon Quest XI speedrun relay. Uh, he's doing Final Fantasy X currently, but hey, if you're around tomorrow morning, he'll be doing XI <laughs> and finishing it before I start mine, at least. So I'm going to send y'all over to Ellie. He's a good guy. He's my DQ11 speedrun buddy. And thank you all, hopefully, thank you all very much for hanging out. And the generosity on day one of Conquest will be here for a while, don't worry. I hope you all have a wee wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>